Uh, come on. Oh, come on, stuff. Stop being dumb. Of course, he doesn't want to enter it now. I'm trying to get chat up. One second, guys. No. Good job. Come on now. That page. Hey, what's up here? Give me a second. My stuff is acting up, my man. I'm trying to get my chat up. What's up, Spark? What's up, my friend? Uh, let's see. What's up, Byron? Okay, hang on. All right. I am. Uh, I know I'm super late. I had. Some errands I had to run, and unfortunately, it took longer than anticipated. There we go. What's up, Byron? Give me one second here, but I'm still getting everything set up really, really quickly. Okay, got that up. All I got to do is share it out, and we are good to start today's session. Oh. Yeah, I saw Peter and Byron with the reaction, but I that okay, you both heart. Okay, Byron and Peter with the heart. Thank you guys so much. One second, guys. I am trying to get this shared out, and then we'll be good to go for today's session. All right, so let's go ahead and share. My mic's right here. I'm just not talking very loud, I think. Hold up. Give me one second, brother. One second. Copy link. Discord. Oh, no. Byron, is it food poisoning again? Or... Like flu like sick. There we go. Okay. So we should be good. I got it shared out. It has my. Okay, yeah, my mic's good. My mic's good, man. Pirates has been blasting out of both ends since 1 a.m. Oh no. Hey, what's up, Rob? What's up, man? My dude, good afternoon, family. What's up, Rob? Welcome back, dude. Like I said, I woke up early, but unfortunately, I had to go run a quick errand. What well, was supposed to be quick took a minute. You know, the holidays being uh, how packed stores are, too. So, store was packed, and then I had to go find a UPS drop box, which took a good minute, because I didn't... Oh, we need to get out of here. <laughs> I forgot where I saved it last. Give me one second, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go here, just to get out. Um, but yeah, welcome to today's session, everybody. Welcome to today's session. Byron says, I have no idea I'm getting stuffy and a uh, cough today, though. Damn, bro, right after your birthday, too. Jesus. I also had to get an energy drink, because I did not sleep good last night. I do want to show you guys something, though. Uh, so, we did a little bit of shiny hunting over on Danielle's page. I gotta show you guys this. So, first of all, we caught this palmy. I caught palmy first. Literally two seconds in between, I caught these two flutter mains. Like, I was looking down, was not even paying attention. I was actually sending a text message to Danielle. I look up, I'm like, oh shit, there's a shiny flutter main. As soon as I caught that one, legitimately another one spawned right in front of it, and then, I don't know what's going on, and at, right after that, we found another Palmy, so, 
When it comes to Palmy and Fluttermane, I will be adding them to this Sunday's uh, Shiny Sunday uh, thing. Someone is banging on my door. I have no idea. Uh, Byron says, I hate you. Why? Because I'm getting shinies, bro? <laughs> what is going on? Byron says, just kidding. I know you're just kidding, Byron. Yeah, like, I legit, I had some shiny luck last night. I had some shiny luck, like, uh, down in Area Zero with the shiny sandwich method with, uh, Danielle. And it was a lot, it was a lot of fun. Like, my shiny luck last night was actually good, but of course, my shiny luck is good, chat. While I'm not streaming or recording or anything like that, I'm like, are you kidding me? Everyone's gonna take my word for it. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So today, you guys know the drill. We're gonna be doing some raids. Uh, we're gonna be doing some raids, and we're going to go ahead and connect to the internet. Hopefully, we get some. I I ran out of. I, I'm not out out, but we are a little bit out of um. Herba Mystica. Like, like I said, I used some last night. Uh, what's up, Derek? Derek with the reaction. Okay, hang on. Let me look real quick. Make sure, too, that my OBS is, uh, working. Derek with the like and Derek with the share. There we go. Okay, my OBS is working. Much love, guys. Much love. That palmy looks... Uh, dude, one of them will be given away this shiny Sunday. It's a legitimate one I got, too. Like, it was a lot of fun. Derek, with the like in the share, like I said. Much, much love, Derek. How are you doing today, man? I, okay, there we go. I'm trying to trying to get everything still set up, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, Byron says it never happened. Dude, it happened, trust me. <clears throat> but as you can see, we're a little bit low on Urban Mystica. We still have what? We still got... I, I say we're low, but we have four... Six, eight, ten, so that's enough for five sandwiches. Peter says, yes, raids, finally. Yes, we're going to be doing some raids, man. We're going to have fun. Byron says, I have four spicy and one sweet. I have all of them. I kind of like keeping them, you know, just like trying to at least keep one of each one. But, uh, but still, like, we got some, but I used two, I believe, yet. Yeah, two yesterday. <clears throat> um, Byron says, I'm finishing Smile at the moment since I passed out and I'm feeling good last night. That is understandable, man. That is understandable. And Byron also says, I'm watching stream and playing Pokemon. You are multitasking good, sir. I did not even see that there in those flowers. Okay, so let's go find ourselves some five-star raids and go from there. Ooh. Get us a five star going so we can officially start today's session. Off on the right foot. Derek says, got eight days on work. I want to raid with y'all, but I can't. Derek, I'm sorry, bro. Uh yeah, but I got uh we got we did have um for everybody that was uh watching on Danielle's stream, we did get a guest appearance from uh Derek here yesterday, which was awesome. He's giving us some shiny iron hands that he caught. I believe he said he caught five. That will be, that'll go towards the uh, shiny Sunday giveaway type of thing. Is it Saturday yet? No, it's. Hang on. <clears throat> I can do the meme. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, my guy. Oh. Okay, so we got a five star. Glade. Glade is normally an ice type, but his terra type is fire. So let's go ahead. Get this one up while I read chat. Byron says, bro, I was so sick this morning for a second. I thought I was feeling better than made an egg sandwich and I got stuck in the bathroom for a whole 30 minutes. Bro, that's why, like, even if I'm start, if I get a little bit of food poisoning or something like that, if, uh, if I'm feeling a little bit better, I legitimately wait. I legitimately wait. Ah, uh, Derek says, cries. Peter says, yeah, I used to hear you way more loudly, dude. I don't know why you're not hearing me as loud. Like, uh, it's my chat mic. Hang on. Let me, I guess I could turn it up a little bit. Is that any better, Peter? Hello? What about now, Peter? How's it going? No, it actually does seem like it's a little quieter. Hang on. Did I turn the knob? Hello? 
Words, 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 words. No, I think that's going the wrong way. Hang on. Hello? Peter, I don't know why, but yeah, it's it looks it's green across the board, so I don't know. Is anybody else thinking that uh <clears throat> is anybody else uh thinking that I am too quiet with the chat mic? Yeah, Byron says he could hear perfect. Like, yeah, I didn't change any of the mic settings. Peter says, I got my headphones and I could still barely hear you. Uh do you no, I'm speaking normal and I did not change the mic settings or anything like that. We got Byron back in. Welcome by back, Byron. Derek says, hey, I get my new place to Hey, that's awesome, Derek. That is awesome, bro. Yeah, I actually got to see what uh Derek looked like. And, well, I've already heard what he sounded like because uh, he joined in a Discord call that I had open one day. And me and him talked, and it was a lot of fun. And, but I got to see what he looked like. Derek has, uh, he got himself the long hair. Like me, to I totally have the long hair. You know, I got luscious locks under this hat. Somebody please believe that BS. Byron says, I have my Beats earbud in. <laughs> Derek says, I'm an ugly friend. Nah, Derek, I'll, I'll come give you some kisses, bro. I'll come give you some kisses. Yeah, I'm looking at OBS too, and it looks, we're fine on audio. Uh, Pat, uh, uh, Peter, I don't know what is going on with yours, brother. I really, really don't, because it's green. Across the board, it's not going into the... If it goes into the yellow territory, then literally, it uh, it's too... It's a little bit too loud to the point of where, like, it sounds just completely muffled. We're in the green, so I honestly don't know why yours is saying that it's not right. Okay. And we also got Peter back in. Welcome, Peter. <laughs> we got Derek laughing. Uh... Uh, Byron says, I've seen it, his hair flows in the wind. Yeah, I got a little <laughs> Okay, before Daniel, I know Daniel's at uh, lunch right now, but she would come in and say, like, what, your three hairs? Like your Homer Simpson hairs? <laughs> Audio is mm, Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, it's just, Peter, it's just urine, my man. Like, everyone else is saying I'm fine when it comes to audio. Like, I was thinking, like, maybe I was thinking for a second, maybe audio went through my webcam mic, but no. Peter says, crap, my Pokemon wasn't the right one. Oh, it's all good, Peter. You know for a fact if we fail it, we'll get it up and try it again, man. It is absolutely no worries. Peter says, I'm going to die. Eh, it happens. Oh, probably, because you have a grass type against Pokemon that'll have ice moves. But either way, it's all good, man. It's all good. You know these are for fun. These are for fun, brother. Uh... Okay, that did some damage to me. And it froze me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, we thawed out. Thank God. So we could use belly drum. Jesus Christ. I thought we, I thought we were dead right there. Uh, I finished uh, for everybody in chat. And as I've been giving the Legend of Korra another chance. And uh, I finally finished it again. I finished it for the first time last night. And, uh, yeah, it's still not great. <laughs> Compared to Avatar The Last Airbender, like, Legend of Korra is not great. Like, it, to me, like, there weren't that, as many memorable moments or characters compared to uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. So, right now I'm trying to find something else to watch. I still have uh, Pokemon, the original Pokemon to watch. Uh, I did find out uh, they have the Duelist Kingdom arc from Yu-Gi-Oh! on Netflix, so I was like, okay. So I checked to see if they have, um, Battle City, which was my favorite arc, the second arc of the, uh, series. Unfortunately, they did not. Uh, Peter says, I'm gonna cheer all the way. Hey, that worked, that'll work. Byron says, I've been frozen the entire time, bro. I've seen that. Uh, Elsa needs to fuck off. <laughs> I died. I haven't used a single move. Bro, it's all good. If we die, we die. You know how it is. If we die, we'll get it back up until this is soft enough to, you know, to, to do a little switchy switch. Nintendo switchy switch. Uh, but I hope everyone's having a good day. It's literally four days until Christmas. And I don't think I have to go anywhere else. Pirate that says boom, boom goes the dynamite, or did you boom boom in your pants? 
Which one, Byron? Which one? I st I need to get caught up on um Discord too, because I heard my phone going off like crazy this morning and a little bit last night, and I was like, I don't want to know what's going on. I want sleep. <laughs> Uh, Rob says, playing Fortnite, no build at the moment. Hey, Fort that's what I prefer, uh, Rob, is uh, some when I play Fortnite, I prefer no build. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy Fortnite. I haven't got to play this new season yet, but I kind of want to just for the fact that uh, it has the My Hero Academia crossover. Byron says both. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're oh, I don't know. We might have to do this one again. I'm not too sure. Find out. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry you're sick again, Byron. I know that's, yeah, we're gonna have to do this one again, but that's all right. Uh, G, G's, boys. G, G's. Uh, since he's ice type, like, my fairy type won't be as effective, but honestly, I don't have anything. Uh, Byron says, oh my god, no way, dude. I thought we had him, too. I honestly thought we had him as well. Rob says, I tried Warzone 2.0 and it's throwing me off. Uh, my Warzone on my PlayStation messed up. Like, any an update. Simon with the like. Thank you, Simon. Uh, it said that it constantly is saying, like, it needs an update, but I go to my downloads on my PS5. There's nothing there. So I'm like, game, what are you talking about? There's no update. And then I open up the game and it's like, yeah, you're good. And I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, what's up, Simon? How are you doing today, bro? Byron said, yeah, dude, I thought we had him, too. I thought we had him, too, Byron. Iron Sands was smacking him up. I, I thought you said Iron Hands was uh, frozen the entire match. Which, which one was it, Byron? Which one, bro? Uh, yeah, I had to give me an energy drink, though, for today's session. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep too well again last night. And I got up, like, maybe three minutes before my alarm because my phone was going off like crazy. And I was like, uh, I gotta get up and adult and shower. All right, we got Peter back in. Welcome back, Peter. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a fun day today, guys. We are gonna have a fun, fun day. Uh, Peter says, be right back. We'll restart for... Well, we'll restart my phone. Maybe it's my phone. Yeah, that that's what I'm thinking. Like, it might be your phone. It might be your connection. But, yeah, everyone else is saying, like, my audio is fine. And I'm looking at it, too. And, yeah, it's about the same where we normally are. We got Byron back in. Welcome back. Byron said I hit him twice at the end. Hell yeah, Byron. You finally got some hits in. Let's hope he doesn't freeze us again. That was some bullshit. And we got room for one more person. I know Rob here. Uh, Rob, if he's still watching, he wants it to be Christmas already because uh, he sent a picture, I believe in the Discord, of what he has to wait. We got Simon in. Welcome back, Simon. Uh, he sent a picture in the Discord of uh, the Switch. He got the OLED Switch, which is nice. He'll be able to keep it hardwired in. It has actually an uh, actual kickstand, which is super, super nice. Uh, that and Pokemon Violet, which... Like I said, Rob, when you get your Pokemon Violet, we will definitely help you out when it comes to the Shiny Charm, getting you the other starters, and lots of stuff like that, bro. Lots of stuff like that. Alright, oh, and, uh, I kind of think about it, I actually have the entire Snow, I forgot about this, uh, I didn't get to say this earlier, I actually have the entire Snow Runt line, Shiny and Pokemon Legends Arceus, and, uh, yeah, Snow Runt's the best out of all of them. Uh, okay, let's build a drum. Byron says, is there an item you can hold to be, so you can be fro, uh, oh, can't be, yeah, yeah, there's berries that you can hold, um, uh, like, if you give them a berry that, uh, does, like, uh, cures certain things, they will eat it immediately after getting frozen or paralyzed or poisoned or whatever, and that'll get rid of it, but it's a one-time use to bear, oh my god, he killed me, <laughs> damn it. But yeah, those berries are like a one-time use type thing. There are, uh, I'm pretty sure there are other items as well. Berries are literally the only thing coming to my mind right now, though. And he has disable. 
Oh no. Oh uh, great. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work on me because I died. Ah, uh, if only we were playing Violet, then we would have Harry Nipples. Harry Nipples would be able to defeat this boy pretty easily. Actually, we had Charizard, but he has ice moves compared to his fire, so that probably would not be the best thing to use, honestly. Okay, so he has his shield up. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to switch from Azuril for this one, because the typing for Galay is actually throwing me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. And plus, my uh, my Azuril is not a special fighter. He is straight up a heavy hitter. Ah, come on. We missed. Don't you kill me. Okay. Don't you freeze me either. Okay, cool. We're cool. We're good. Alright, his shield is broken. We got this. I believe in us. Oh, he is so close. As long as as long as he doesn't get a kill, we should in theory be okay. Alright, I have one hydro pump left. Alright, that freeze dry. Don't freeze me. You son of a bitch. He froze me. Oh, we thought out. We're good. We're good. Alright. Alright. We beat him. We beat him. He's dead. Thank God. <laughs> His typing was honestly throwing me off there for a minute. We got uh, Lorenz with the like. Thank you, Lorenz. I believe... I think I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If not, I apologize. How are you doing today, dude? dude Peter says dead. Did we got him? Let's see. Ah, uh, no Urba Mystica or special items. But that's okay. We still defeated him, chat. GG's, guys. We beat him. Alright. Let's go find ourselves another five star. Uh. I think we already checked that grass. Yeah, we checked that grass one. So we'll go here and check this psychic type one out. Uh, we've been getting a little bit lucky uh past couple of streams, though, with Urban Mystica. We've been getting at least a couple each uh, stream. The best one, though, was that day we got literally four Urban Mystica from one uh raid. That one was... That was insane. I was not... A and I... Best part was, like, I was not paying attention to it. I was literally reading chat when it happened. Of oh, oh, come on, game. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's see what this is. We do not need a three star. Uh, all right. I know it's right over here, but I mark it just in case. You never know when it's gonna go bad. Oh, uh, kind of thing with like the uh. The six star that we had for yesterday's event, that one was super tough. We didn't get any Urban Mystica from it. It was a six star Gengar, and his typing was throwing me off as well, but my god, was he strong. A three star that we don't need. Byron says, I ate a sandwich for Espeon, went to Moon's Cave, not a single one spot. That happened to me and Danielle, uh, Byron. We were uh, playing, and legitimately at we uh after i caught a my shiny espion that i gave to danielle after that we were getting absolutely no espion spawns sometimes um got a couple got a couple of deerling right there that are uh, giving up on life uh that want to break their legs um yeah sometimes the sandwiches literally will mess up on people which is very unfortunate Okay, uh, oh god, why are there so many Magnemite over here? Okay. Th ah, three star. Alright, uh, let's see, we checked those three. We had that as an outbreak. That's actually a good outbreak for once. Alright, let's go to Zip Zap Zap Pap Town. 
Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes, like, uh, I'm gonna check my phone, too, to make sure we didn't miss any sort of reactions that I personally cannot see. You guys know how it is. Uh, I did. I did miss some. Phone. You can stop it. You can stop it. Yeah, we are at six reactions. We got, like I said earlier, we got Byron and Peter with the heart. Thank you guys so much. And we also have Talon with the heart. Thank you so very much. It is much appreciated. Uh, one second as we do that. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. I have a Flareon mob right. Ooh, Flareon would be nice. I know a certain someone who would definitely love a Flareon shiny because she does not have him yet. But he's the worst shiny. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. He is the worst shiny evolution out of them all. Like, he, yeah, he's the worst. The second, uh, him and Leafeon are the two worst evolution shinies because, like, they you can barely can tell. Damn it, four star. We don't need four star. We need five and higher, game. Ah. Uh, uh, we got David with the like. Hey, David, how are you doing today, dude? All righty, so we're do let's we're still looking for another five star. It's taking me a minute, but we will get them. I might do some, might do a shiny sandwich towards the end of the stream. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure yet. Of course, my group chat is going off like crazy right now, so I'm gonna move my mic a little bit. Uh, Byron says, if I get it, I'll probably just give it to Danielle. Dude, she would highly, highly appreciate it. Like I said, she abs- Damn it, still no five star. She absolutely loves the evolutions, and she's trying to get them all shiny for her game. Like, she wants a full set of shinies, and I've asked her, like, I don't remember if she's ever, uh, had all the shiny evolutions in one thing. Simon says, we're doing that group thing later. Like, yes, we absolutely are. So, for people wondering, uh, I, when I do the shiny sandwich, we will do it to where we can get Byron and Simon. Now, again, I'm a, I'm sorry for that yesterday, Simon. There was some stuff going on off stream that I'm not going to talk about that I had to go help out with. And, yeah. But I hope you guys understand. Uh, three stuff. What is with all the three star today? We need five and higher game. Come on now. Uh, David says, "What's up? First time in the stream. I usually watch Bane, but I've been trying to support other Pokemon streamers." What's up, David? We're doing some five star raids right now, where anybody in chat can join. And uh, th also, uh, David, thank you for the like, man. Thank you for the like. It is much appreciated. Uh, Simon says, don't be, you have a life, mate. Yeah, but still, man. But still. Like, it was unexpected, because we were planning it out, but literally, so, like I said, I'm not going to say exactly what happened, but something, something happened to where, uh, I had to go and help out with some stuff, and we'll just leave it at that. We will just leave it at that, chat. <laughs> Byron says, I'll never forgive you. Please, senpai. Forgive me. I'll come, uh, I'll come bring you some soup. I'll bring you some soup and some belly rubs. Ah, uh, four star. Come on, game. Why is this game just hating us today? <laughs> like, it legitimately does not want to give us a five star raid. That's what we need, too, is five stars so we can, uh, work on getting ourselves some herbs. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's go up here. <laughs> I love that little owl. I'll never forgive you. You killed my brother. There we go. Five star. Applin. Apple, or Flapple, not Applin. Uh, Flapple is usually dragon grass. And this one is... Terra type is grass. So that actually makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to change... To our Charizards. Where, eh, oh God, I can't. I need to organize my boxes. And I need to get rid of this Fuecoco. 
I am I am not organized in this game chat. Okay, so we got it changed. Let's go ahead and get up. Byron says, LOL. Uh, j just kidding. I think I know what happened. It's all good. Uh, yeah. It's all good, Byron. Like I said, not mentioning it on stream, what was going on. Alright, so there we go. Code is up, and anybody can join these. Rob says, four more down. I know Rob is excited. Rob gets his Switch, a very, very nice, brand new OLED Switch. And also has uh, Pokemon Violet to go along with it. I know you're excited, Rob. Rob. Wait a minute. Hang on. What day is Christmas? What is the actual day? It is Sunday. So guess what that means, Rob? You'll be able to participate, dude, if you watch in Shiny Sunday, man. I didn't realize Christmas was on a Sunday because, yes, Shiny Sunday will also be on Christmas, which is insane to me. We got Simon back in and we got Byron back in. So that's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, Alright, I need to keep my phone away from the chat mic. Because, like, my phone is loud. I'm hard of hearing. And we got Peter back in. Welcome back, Peter. We got a full team for this. We got this, guys. Peter bought Scar. I figured you were going to buy the other version, man. I figured you were going to buy the other version. Uh, Byron says, I'm gonna buy myself Violet this Friday, I think. I don't know if I can make it Sunday. Byron, you're good, man. If you can't make it Sunday, you're good. I know, like, this shiny Sunday is gonna be a little bit weird. It might be a little bit slower. I'm not sure, because of the fact this shiny Sunday also happens to be Christmas. It happens to be Christmas that day. But if you can't make it, Byron, it is all good, brother. I never fault anybody for missing a stream. If they're at work, and they're like, hey, I'm sorry I missed you. I'm like, dude, you are fine. Like, it's all good. I remember I have, um, I had a couple of, uh, I had a couple of, uh, community members, uh, uh, back before where I was able to do these on my own, who, like, would always tell me and Daniel, hey, we're sorry that we missed, uh, your session day. And we're like, dude, it's fine. It literally, there's no reason to be sorry. Byron says, um. I have three places to go, and it's very bad weather here. Life-threatening conditions. I said, bro, just be... Please, please, please be careful driving. Please be careful driving. Peter says, I can't change Pokemon. No worries, Peter. If you can't change, it's all good, man. It's all good. You know these are for fun, brother. And we have officially been live for half an hour. Communication error. Oh, yep, that... I get that one from time to time. Hey, there you go. There you go. Okay, let us start this raid. It is all good, man. Uh, Byron says, I could probably pop in and won't be able to actually participate, probably. Dude, you are Byron. It is okay, man. Like I said, this shiny Sunday also happens to be Christmas. Alright, so it is all good. It might, our shiny Sunday, this one, might not uh be that long, considering the fact that that day is Christmas. Like I said... I'm home alone during this Christmas holiday, but I know everybody is going to be busy, so it is all, all good. Uh, Rob says, it's cool that they allow uh, Violet and Scarlet to trade and stuff together. Yes, yes, which makes sense. I mean, they've done that for, like, every Pokemon game uh, since, like, the beginning, but it, it's a very, like I said, this game is a little glitchy, Rob. You know that. You've seen it. But it's so much fun. I am having a blast playing it. Byron says, we just got hit with a bunch of snow and winds are going to hit 50 miles per hour and negative 20. Jesus Christ. Yeah, please, Byron, be safe, bro. Please be safe, man. I don't want anybody in my chat uh, getting hurt. I don't want to hear about, like, uh, saying, oh, yeah, our holiday was uh, terrible. We... Uh, crashed into a uh, Frosty the Snowman. Uh, Frosty's dead. You know what I'm. You, you know what I'm saying. Like we have a community member um who was telling us yesterday that he has surgery today, and I'm hoping it goes very very well for him. Uh, for anybody watching that was uh, here yesterday, you know who he is. I'm not gonna say his name, but I really really hope that uh his surgery goes well today. 
It's not a it's he said it's not a major surgery, but still, like you know, I'm a caring person. I care about my community because I get to know you guys in my own weird way. Oh my god, this flap was beating my ass. And also, my allergies were beating my ass too. Yeah, he's gonna kill us right there. That's okay. That was my first death. Uh Yeah, I didn't think uh, I didn't even think that um Christmas is literally on Sunday this year. Like I did not think of that when I was uh getting prepped for a uh, shiny Sunday. But like I said, we're still gonna have fun with it. It might not be as long as, like, uh, our past couple of Shiny Sundays. Uh, that way, that way everybody can spend some quality time with their loved ones. I'm paralyzed, of course. Okay, we're good. Alright, we broke the shield. Hell yeah. Alright, Hurricane. There we go. We, he needs one more hit. He needs one more hit, and he is done for. Alright, so let's see if this will finish him. He might be already dead. He might already be dead, chap. I'm not too sure yet. Game? Okay, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> the game was... Game loves playing tricks on me. All right, I don't need to catch this one. I'm going to send the other apple pie, uh, the apple pie Pokemon over to Violet one day, just because I need him. And, of course, no Herba Mystica, but that is A-OK. -okay. We got eh, we got some decent stuff. We got Star Piece, some Mer Candy, and, of course, some level candies. So that is A-OK. -okay. So now we got to find another one. <laughs> uh, but GG's, boys. GG's. All right. Okay, so that one is done. So let's go find ourselves another one. Uh, I don't honestly remember if we checked this one. I don't think we have. If we have, I mean, that's fine. If not, hey, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, so let's see... Okay, no, we didn't check that one, but it is a four-star. Uh, I know for a fact we checked that one and that one, so let's go check this ice one out. Mm. There, is, there are still quite a few Pokemon that I need to shiny hunt in this game. I was looking at that Marini and thinking, like, what do you look like, Shiny? I, and Wiglet, Wiglet and Wigtrio would honestly be really, really neat to have Shiny. But see, I remember Wig Trio is a uh, instead of being red, he's blue for his shiny. So definitely gonna have to check that out. Four, of course, it's a four star. That's all right. Uh, we got a water one over here. So let's go check that one out while we grab this. I uh, hey nugget, nice. Actually, I haven't sold any items in this game at all. Like, we're not, we don't really need money right now. I think we are good on it, unless we legitimately want to go get, like, all the Ultra Balls, all the Quick Balls, and Repeat Balls. But uh, but for right now, we are good of where we are. Really wish I could buy the Apricorn Balls, though, because <laughs> my favorite ball is still the Lore Ball. Oh, uh, the ugly fishy three star. Not what we need. All right, so let's go ahead and fly over here. See what we get. We haven't even seen where our six star rate is yet, because that one's gonna take us a minute. I can already tell you. All right, so let's see what is going on over here. All right, we got Colton with the light. Good, oh, good afternoon. I said, oh, five star Tyranitar, not too shabby. Let's do this. Uh, Tyranitar is normally 
Uh, ground, I believe. I can't remember his type, but he is a dark type for his Terra. Uh, Peter says, I found a shiny Satoto while training in the mountain too. You got my shiny Goofy baby, Peter? You got my shiny Goofy baby? That's who we're going for next, Prop. We're either going to go for Clef or uh, Satotl, who I call Goofy Baby. Uh, next for our Overworld Shiny. Since we are, we did get, for last Shiny Sunday, we did get uh, Orthworm, which I freaked out. And that's who I was trying to get yesterday uh, during the Shiny Sandwich Method was Satotl. Like, I would love to have him Shiny. Danielle already has him Shiny, but she also evolved his. We got Simon back in. Welcome back, Simon. Uh, Peter, you lucky, lucky man. You got one of the mods I wanted. <laughs> kind of reminds me, like, when I was, uh, before I had Orthworm. Hey, we got Ray with the like. How are you doing, Ray? Uh, we got Peter back in. Welcome back, Peter. And we got room for one more person. Adding it for anybody that's just kind of lurking. Anybody can join these raids. Does not matter how new or how old you are to the community. We're doing these for fun. And we got Byron back in. All right, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and ready up as Byron gets himself a Nash Pokemon to do this fight. And he's going to be using his Sylveon. Sylveon's another one I would like shiny, but I don't know where enough. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I forgot to mention this to you, Byron, because uh, I figured you were um, not watching anymore. We did uh, we did the electric one. That's how I got a Pommy. Uh, but we were going for Raichu shiny. Uh, during that, Daniel had found a big, big spawn of Jolteon. It wasn't an outbreak or anything. She literally just found a big spawn of Jolteon. I don't remember where, though. So, may so maybe with that electric one, we have a better chance if we could find at least one. I'm not too sure, though. Oh, no. The Sandstorm. All right, so we'll belly drum, play rough, and go from there, Chad. Oh no! Peter says I accidentally killed it uh, doing the whole fast battle thing, bro. No. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about where you throw your Pokemon out, Peter? Because when you throw your Pokemon out, if the Pokemon is shiny, like if it's an actual shiny, it will not battle a shiny Pokemon. So are you sure you found a shiny Pokemon, my man? Like, cause I'm confused now. Hang on, cause yeah, every every overworld shiny your Pokemon will not uh, attack shiny. Byron says yes, I want a shiny so bad, dude. You and me both. You and me both. Shiny Goofy baby is who I'm going for next, probably. I might actually shiny hunt him today a little bit. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll see. I know the item for like the item uh needed to hunt his type, which is ice. It's literally the sam a sandwich item that's only found in one area of the world. And it took Danielle, like, maybe five or six minutes to find the actual store to buy it. Alright. Is he gonna kill me? No, he's not gonna kill me. We are good. Oh, but Byron is down. No, Jolteon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You want Jolteon, Shiny. Um, Yeah, I'll see if Daniel When Daniel gets in here, uh, or if she can get in here today, because, you know, she's at work. She's actually at lunch right now. Um, We'll ask her, like, hey, do you remember where you found all those Jolteon spawns? Because uh, Byron here needs himself a Shiny Jolteon. Uh, Peter says, no, I was pressing A in every battle, watching a movie, and then I heard a shine sound, and it was already too late. Oh, no, Peter. Oh, God. Well, if it makes you feel better, Peter, I legitimately killed a shiny here on stream, and, uh, I was so distraught by it, I'm like, I need a drink, chat. I made myself a little whiskey coke. I was so sad. I was so sad. Byron was laughing, because he heard me scream, no. Like, he heard me scream, no, like, somebody killed my parents in front of me. <laughs> like, like, I was becoming Batman in that moment. What's that? Oh, so if you, um, if you run into a Pokemon, uh, Byron, that is shiny, it'll make a little sheen. It'll make that sheen sound. 
Uh, and like, oh yeah, and Byron also. I almost forgot about this. Uh, with shiny Pokemon on Legends Arceus, they do make a noise and they do make a big sparkle. Um, when they are shiny. So that way you don't have to keep looking like, oh, is there a difference? Like, no, you will be able to hear it and see it. And plus, you get automatically a free shiny through a uh, side quest in that game. And it's really, really cool because it's a very good shiny. It is shiny Ponyta, which is awesome. Peter says, I wanted to catch it for you. It is no worries, bro. It is no worries at all. And Peter also says, I almost cried because it looks so cool. It does look cool. I never played the game with sound. <laughs> uh, Byron, trust me when I say you're going to want to play Legends Arceus with some sound because of uh, just because of the fact like the shine noise and sparkle uh, makes a huge, huge sound. I want to play Legends Arceus so bad about the fan voice. Yeah, I'm worried about your fan too, without a doubt, because the way you're describing it to me, it sounds like your fan might be going out. Like I said, it's a cheap, cheap fix. Uh, so, yeah, it's a cheap fix. So you'll just need that and some thermal paste. That's literally all. And a screwdriver, obviously. That's literally all you need. No soldering. No BS like that. Like, super, super easy fix when it starts messing up again. Uh, we got Peter and Byron back in. And Colton says, I tried shiny hunting Satata last night, but found a bunch of ice stones instead. It's a sign, Colton. It's a sign that you're going to get him, bro. Uh, like I said, I tried him for a minute last night. Uh, the game, unfortunately, Danielle's connection was super, super bad last night. We don't know why. It kept kicking uh, her from the world. And it got to the point of where... Uh, her stream just completely crashed, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. So that, it was a little bit of a headache. Like, oh no. But I did give, I got some shiny luck last night. I got four shinies. Yay. All right, we got room for one more. Byron says, at my friend's work, I bought the Switch from Light, uh, like fixing consoles and controllers, so she would probably help me fix it. Yeah, dude, if she knows how to fix it, by all means, literally take it to her to fix it. Like, like I said, I feel comfortable enough doing, like, certain repairs, like, to controllers and consoles, but if, it, if it's anything, like, that is out of my depths, I'm like, yeah, I'm not touching this right now. No thank you. No thank you. Like, I have a, um, I have one of Danielle's switches when, uh, I went to go visit her, that, um, that, uh, for some reason... It doesn't all charge, so I'm thinking it's two things. One thing being the battery is just bad, which I have to buy a battery to test it. I still haven't done that because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Uh, another thing is it could be a chip in the motherboard that goes from the brain of the console to where the battery is that needs to be reflowed, and that is a pain in the ass to do. Antonio says, hi, hey, what's up, Antonio? And Antonio also says, can I ask you something? Absolutely, Antonio. If I am not uh, comfortable with the question, I do not answer said question. But yes, what is your question, Antonio? All right, let's belly drum. Belly drum, belly drum, ba -da -da -da, belly drum. Ooh. All right. It's time to uh that sandstorm is probably gonna be probably gonna be the death of me. There we go. There we go. I remember the first Tyranitar like that I ever got to level one hundred. I legitimately uh made him wear him like a uh, thunder <laughs> in order to, uh this was back before fairy types were introduced. I made him learn thunder for uh coverage against water type Pokemon. Which <laughs> a lot of people were not expecting when I uh, played against them. But back then it was before, like, uh, online was relatively available. So it was, like, through um, cables. Hey, what's up, Kamisuki? Kamisuki with the like and Kamisuki with the good morning. Good morning, Kamisuki. Well, it's afternoon for me, but good morning to you, good sir. And Kamisuki with the share as well. Uh... Antonio says, speak with Ash Pokemon. It said his retirement set. Yeah, it, like I said, I'm a little sad about it because that's legitimately part of my childhood. A good, good part of my childhood. Just 
going away, unfortunately. Like, I'm a little sad about it, but at least we are getting a proper send-off for him. Yeah, I mean, it's... He's been literally the main character of the anime for over 25 years, and for some reason, people, some people don't like him. I absolutely love, love, love Ash. Like I said, that's my childhood. We also have Victor with the like. Hey, Victor, how are you doing today, sir? All right, he's almost dead. We got this. Antonio says, I'm very upset, too. Yeah, it's sad. It is sad. I mean, it's n like, yeah, they're going to continue the anime with new characters, but it's not going to feel the same. It's really not. I know there's a lot of rumors, too, like, oh, what if it's uh, Ash's kid because of uh, the hair clip? Because it's it literally looks the same as his original attire from the Indigo League. And I'm like, I doubt, th I doubt they would do that. And we got no Urban Mystica, but that's okay. Simon says, GG's, bro. GG's, bro. And Byron says, Iron Hands is so OP, dude. Dude, it, he, you're... Iron Hands is actually pretty good. I might have to give me a competitive one for this, uh, for this game. Antonio says, uh, it's something, uh, it's something what you grow up. I mean, like I said, I'm a very nostalgic person. Like, if I hear or see something, like, that's part of my childhood. We also have Mario with the like, hey, Mario, how are you doing? Uh, it's, like I said, I'm a very nostalgic person, like, I still, anything that I liked from my childhood, I still like to this day and still enjoy, and I don't care what people think. <laughs> like, I like what I like, and that's the way it's always gonna be. Like, I still love Yu-Gi-Oh! I still love Pokemon, love my anime, I love my metal music, and, uh, love my whiskey. Uh, Mario has been following for 312 days, Jesus uh, much love to you, Mario. Much, much love to you, bro. I can't believe, like, I've had the page for a long time. We've literally had the page 600 days now, because I remember, uh, yesterday Danielle did it too. And it's at 599, so we are at 600 days for the page. Byron says, yeah, I need a better stat one. Yeah. I, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying yours is bad. Wait, hang on. Hang on, Byron. I mean, like, uh, I, I just need a good one as well. I need a good one, bro. Uh, Antonio says, it's like the green power. Engine. Yeah, I heard about that. I did hear about that. Um, I heard that from, like, a fellow streamer. She, uh, I have her personal Facebook, and she had, uh, posted it. I was like, what? Like, Power Rangers I didn't get, uh, really into. I just get, I watched it from time to time. I remember a lot of kids saying, no, I'm the, uh, Red Ranger, and you're the Pink Ranger sort of thing. And, uh... Yeah, it was re it was really really sad, man, because he seemed like a very chill person who loved his uh, st uh his uh fans, and I just could not believe what happened. Mario says, "Good, just reading some non some non shiny ass. Hey, man, you might get lucky and they'll be shiny, bro. You might get lucky. I still have all those Fue Coco eggs left over that I need to hatch off stream, unfortunately." I gotta hatch them off stream, get rid of them, and get ready for Charmander to hatch. Because that's what we're going for next for a shiny one. Uh, Kamisuke says, can anyone help me with the six star Annihilate Dark Terra? You, uh, there might be some people that are willing to help you, man. There might be some people. Uh, Antonio says, a Pokemon you have there looks, uh, their game looked like motorcycle. Yeah, that was the point. Like, the two legendary Pokemon were meant to look like, um, motorcycles, which is, it's pretty cool. A lot of people, um, prefer the Violet one. I personally like both of them. When it comes to Shinies, though, like, uh, even though they're Shiny Lock, let me keep that in mind. They're both Shiny Lock, but this one, to me, it looks way, way better. Shiny. Ah, four star. Like, I saw both, I saw a video in which, um, it showed all the new shiny Pokemon, even the ones that are shiny locked. And when it comes to Maridon, Maridon shiny is honestly not great. It's not. It is kind of disappointing. Uh, but this one here is a beautiful shiny. I recommend people like watching uh shiny videos on uh YouTube, like to see what Pokemon looks shiny. So that way, if you see one you really really like, uh. 
That way you have an idea of what you're going to go for you next time. What is that? Oh, that's two. I was like, wait, what? Why is he moving so fast? I've never seen him move that fast. Ah, uh, what did we run into? Ah, oh, we ran into a uh, Wooper. Wooper shiny looks actually really, really cool. Uh, both versions of them, I should say. The uh, original Johto version and also the uh, Pal uh, Paldean version. Uh, ooh, five-star Rangaroo Psychic type. That's actually one of his normal types is Psychic. He's normal Psychic type. We got this, guys. Antonio says, I can talk later, buddy. Nice to meet you going to work. All right, man. Antonio, have a wonderful day at work. Much love to you. Thank you for uh, come checking out the stream, man. It means a lot to me. All right, chat. But code is up. Anybody can join. You guys know how it is. Let's do this, guys. Also, this is a Scarlet exclusive, so if you're playing Violet and you don't have him yet, that'll be very, very helpful. Can I join? Dude, yeah, anybody can join Kamisuki. Anybody can join. You know how I am, man. It does not matter how new or how old you are to it. Anybody can join these raids, because that's what this is all about. We're having fun, just playing with the community and having fun. We got Simon back in. Welcome back, Simon. Like anybody can join this community. Can you know how you've been here for a good minute? You know how these raids work. We got Peter back in. All right, we got room for one more person. Who is it gonna be? We got Byron back in. Okay, so we do have a full party. Let's do this. Alrighty, I'm ready up with my. Kinda tanky as Merle, the only Pokemon that I have that's actually good for raids, if I'm being honest. Ooh, okay. Peter's gonna be using his Tyranitar. Peter, did you catch that Ty uh was that the Tyranitar from the last raid we just did? Uh did you catch him, dude? If so, if so, like what were his stats? Usually I don't Usually I don't catch the Pokemon unless I think, like, I think this one's going to be a super strong or super fast one. That's when, uh, that's when I catch them. Or if they're shiny, but we have not had a single shiny, uh, pop-up from a raid yet. Alright. So we have a Ranguru. Also, I wanted your, uh, no, I trained him from a baby. Oh, okay, fair enough, Peter. Fair enough, man. Also, I wanted your guys' opinion about something. As you guys know, like, we primarily just do 5-star and higher raids here on the channel. However, I know a lot of people went with Pokemon Violet. I primarily play Scarlet. You guys know this. If we find a Pokemon that is a Scarlet exclusive, no matter what uh, or how high it is, should we start doing those so that way people can get them for their shiny decks? Yeah, he's about to put me to sleep. He is about to put me to sleep, Byron. He's trying to make me a sleepy boy. But it's just not it. Because, like, for example, this Oranguru, he's legitimately a Scarlet exclusive. Uh, uh, I don't remember his name, but it's another Generation 7 Pokemon that is also a monkey. Uh, starts with a P. I just remember that. And, uh... Yeah, I just want your guys' opinion. Should we start doing uh, raids that legitimately have exclusive Pokemon no matter what their level is? That way, if somebody does not have them for their decks, they can go and uh, go ahead and add them to them to get that shiny charm a little bit quicker. Of course, I'm asleep. I'm asleep and Byron is asleep. Because like I know, like I said, I, usually we only do five and higher just for the fact like of the awards. But I think doing the raids with uh, that look, like have the exclusive Pokemon in it, if we could find some, obviously, would uh, help out. Uh, Sonnen says the one with the ball, the one with the yes, yes, yes. I can't remember his name. I remember. Uh, ooh, he killed me. Uh, Danielle did donate one for Shiny Sunday. She had an extra shiny of him. And he, I've never seen his shiny before, but it was really, really cool. He had orange and blue with him. He looked awesome. Uh, Kamisuzuki says, yep, that uh, could be fun to have. Okay, man. Yeah, I'll consider doing it. 
like I said, I like your guys' opinions as well, because obviously without you guys, I would literally be talking to a camera for three plus hours a day to myself. Uh, it's just an idea. It's just an idea. He's trying to put me asleep again. Are you kidding me? All right. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I guess Byron hit him before the uh, game recognized, like, that he had done that. Let's see. Yep, he did. <laughs> All right. Our anger is down and out. We got Daniel with the like. Welcome back, Daniel. How was uh, lunch? Because I was a little jealous when you said where you went today. Uh, Peter says, stuck again, damn glitch. Ah, it's all good, Peter. Daniel says, hi, Velake. What's up? What's up, Daniel? I also laughed at the post that you made, Daniel. Like, that was pretty funny what the person did to you. Uh, we did not get any Urban Mystica, but we did get an Ability Capsule, which was a rare item, so hell yeah. Uh, how was lunch, Danielle? And we have uh, just hit the one hour mark for today's session, everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Byron. Uh, we're, uh, Danielle, you remember yesterday on your stream when we did the Electric Shiny sandwich do you remember where the jolteon spawn was that you got because i told byron about it because he really really wants jolteon and byron here might try to go for flareon shiny for uh for you because he has an outbreak of it ah venomoth okay venomoth is neither a an exclusive nor is he five stars, so let us continue. It was good, 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 good. It looked good. I love I love Hibachi. Hibachi is really cool. Really, really fun experience, and I'm glad you got to go, Danielle. And Danielle, of course, is on Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> oh, and Kamiski says he has an outbreak for Vaporeon. Vaporeon is a very, very good shiny. Like, he's probably my favorite out of the original Evolution trio when it comes to, uh, Shiny. Uh, Daniel says near Medell Town, I think. Yeah, I honestly don't remember where it was. I figured if anybody would remember, it would be Danielle. But when she used the electric sandwich, trying to get Raichu when I got, uh, Shiny Palmy, she, uh, got the, she, uh, got a good amount of them. I looked on, I looked on, we were on a call, but I always have her chat up, because, again, I'm a mod for her. Uh, four star, but that is one we don't need that is not exclusive. Uh, Byron S, right outside area zero. Uh, let me look. Let me see where that one town is at. Uh, Colton says, I like shiny, uh, stupid fish. Uh, color than its original. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's corn. Uh, okay, wait. Yeah. So here's the town. Like that's where Area Zero is. So she found it somewhere, probably in this area, Byron. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people actually like the fish. Uh, shiny. I call it stew. Oh, we got a. F Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. We got a five star. Star Radio, who's normally a normal flying type Pokemon, but he also has his terror type being fighting, so I'm pretty sure we got this one. I'm pretty sure we got this one. What what does uh POS fish <laughs> shout out to anybody who knows that reference right now? Uh what does he look like shiny? I don't remember I know some people were telling me about him, but I really don't remember. I watched a video too, but I, I can't remember every shiny Pokemon. That's almost impossible. I'm going to turn my fan on me a little bit. Little warm. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. Much better. Uh, Byron says, okay, yeah, when I look in the Pokedex, it's highlighted in the area for a small. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the way they did the Pokedex, uh, this game, honestly. It's, it's not that great compared to, uh, Arceus or Sword and Shield. Because, like, in those games, you could literally move it over to where, like, if you have their shiny... 
their shiny form will show up in the decks, which is really awesome. We got Simon back. Welcome back, Simon. Uh, we haven't gotten any Urban Mist kit today, but that is okay, because I am having a blast playing this. And we got room for two more. We got Peter back, and we also have Byron back. We got the boys back. Alright, sweet. Alright, so we got this. We definitely got this. I know Danielle has been wanting... Like I said, she's been wanting... All the Evolution Shiny, which we were able to give her uh, Jolteon and Glaceon for Shiny Sunday. And also, um, she has been wanting a Shiny Raichu. She is Shiny hunted him for him for a while, she's saying. So, if I get him Shiny, I already know I have to give it to her. I have to. She does too much for me, chat. She does too much for me for me to say no to her. All right, there we go. Our non-shiny boy, but still, we are going to defeat him, no problem. Oh, he made my attack fall. I guess I'll have to raise it somehow. All right, belly drum. Byron is using fake tears. Ooh, okay, that didn't do much damage. We're good. And plus, that's going to lower his defense, his special defense, so, haha. <laughs> Joke's on you, Star Raptor. That's why, like, if I had a double-edged sword type of, um... He got rid of my belly drum. I know he did. And he got rid Oh, I hate you, Star Raptor. I... Alright, I can't use Belly Drum right now, but that's alright. I'm just gonna go beat the shit out of him. Uh... Like I said, if I have a... I was gonna say, if I have a double-edged sword uh, type of uh, move, I will legitimately wait until either towards the end, or I will... Um, or I will stack up to the point of where, like, losing a little bit of uh, defense or health or anything like that will just not affect me all that much. Uh, Kamisuke says, hmm, I quite forgot what animal uses fake tears. Was it cr uh, crocodile, maybe? Ah! Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Actually, I was kind of thinking about, uh, I, I think I've told this story uh, before on Danielle's stream. You guys know Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, right? To of considered to be one of the best remakes for Pokemon out there. My brother has been uh, he's beaten it before, but he decided, hey, I want to replay it. I want to replay it, but I want to have a shiny team, and he wants to have a shiny starter. So he was resetting, and he was going for a uh, Totodile shiny, who. Uh, Totodile was my favorite from that generation. I liked all of them, but Totodile was my favorite. He's resetting over and over and over again to get a shiny uh, starter, because you can do that in Hard Gold and Soul Silver. He reset over, like, I believe he said about two or 3,000 times. He finally got him, which is awesome, but guess what he did, chat? He, acts, he was so in the rhythm of having to reset, he accidentally reset. When he got a shiny Pokemon, he immediately texted me and told me what happened. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Because you have to think, the uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver was before they changed the shiny odds in the game. So instead of 1 in 4,000, it was 1 in 8,000 chance for shiny. And there was no shiny charm or anything like that. He, you can't Masuda method in that one unless you hack in a ditto to the game because there's no online for it anymore and it was it was one of those oh no pro moments uh i don't know if he's restarted it uh since but like my, i i would have quit the game forever i would have quit forever <laughs> no urban mystica there but that is a okay uh kamisuke says well that is, was heartbreaking dude it oh uh, i felt his pain I felt his pain. He came over like the next day 
And he was like, I'm so mad. He's hey, he said, I'm not going to try to redo uh, Emerald for a while. I'm going to keep trying to get my shiny Totodile again. Like he, like, he put some hours into it, too, just resetting. But he, he got into the rhythm of resetting over and over again. And that's what happened. And that is Heartbreak City right there. Especially with how cool Totodile line shiny looks. Uh, like, I have shiny, I have shiny Totodile, I believe, on Diamond and Pearl. I had all three of them. I had Cyndaquil, Chikorita, and Totodile. I gave, uh, I believe it was Dan, yeah, it was Danielle. I gave Danielle Chikorita and Cyndaquil, and I'm like, yeah, I'm keeping Totodile, though, for myself. <laughs> all right. Ah, four star. Uh, Byron says, okay, can I try Electric Sandwich for a little bit? Hey, good luck, man. Go get your shiny Jolteon. Let us know if you get them, too. All right, so let's go. Game. If you want to stop freaking out, I'm trying to go over here. Thank you, game. Blame it to the muscle memory. Yeah, it was muscle memory. I probably would have done the same thing, too. I'm not going to lie, but oh, man. Oh, goodness. We got uh, Krissa with the like. Thank you so much, Krissa. How are you doing today? Uh, but that is Heartbreak City right there. I'm pretty sure everybody's failed. Ooh! Okay, hang on. Hold up. We're going to save right here because the last time we got the Dolphin, we got four Urban Mystica. So if we get four Urban Mystica again, the game chat... Let me look around. Make sure no game freak employees hiding. Let me check on my desk. Okay. The game is going to crash so that way everybody here in chat can stack up on some Urban Mystica. Because I know Byron's about to do a electric sandwich. Uh, and we have a lot of people. We have some people watching right now. And we have a lot of people wanting to get in. So if we get four Urban Mystica again, it's going to crash on us. You guys know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know how this game is. It crashes quite a bit. Mitchell said, man, you are... He Mitchell called me a cheater saying, man, your game sure does crash a lot. And I'm like, hey, man, it's not my fault it crashes a lot. We got Kumisuki back in. I had to remember uh, that name for a second. Welcome back, Kumisuki. We got room for two more. And again, anybody lurking, you guys are more than welcome to join these raids. It does not matter who you are. We got Danielle and we got... Wow, you both got it at the same time. Congratulations for that. Uh, yeah, the game... <laughs> Danielle says, Crash. I had her do the quotations for me uh, yesterday when uh, she was streaming. I'm like, thank you, Danielle. Thank you for doing that. Uh, I am going to check while we get this raid ready up to make sure I did not miss any sort of reactions that I personally cannot see. I think I did. I know for... F I'm not trying... I'm not... I'm not trying to click on my live video. I'm just trying to see the reactions. Game. Hello. All right, let's go ahead and get this ready while I look. We did. We got... Let's see. We got Mario with the care reaction. Okay, so Mario changed his reaction. Either way, it's all good. It is much, much uh, appreciated. We are at 14 reactions, 127 comments, and 6 shares for today's session so far. Simon says can't get in. It was full, Simon. That's why, bro. Like I said, if we, uh Ooh, someone has a shiny Hariyama. I guarantee you that's Kamisuki because he said he was getting him. That's actually a pretty cool shiny. Okay, so yeah, uh, <laughs> into, no, Kamiski, it's not intentional, dude. There's just a super scary monster outside of everybody's window when the game crashes, and you guys just blink and miss it. It's not my fault that that happens. I don't know what you mean, bro. I don't know what you mean. Kamiski, stop snitching. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we definitely have them. And plus, uh, chat, this is the version that, uh, you have to have somebody, uh, you have to have somebody in your world, or have to be in somebody else's world to evolve them. This is the evolution. So keep that in mind. If you don't have them yet, go ahead and catch them. Because I'm not sure where everybody is for the shiny decks. I know Danielle has both Scarlet and Violet done. She got it done yesterday, which is awesome. We touch traded her some Pokemon to make it a little bit easier for her. But again, this one, 
you legitimately have to be in somebody's world to evolve and it's a certain level i want to say it's 45 to 50 for level i don't really remember kamitsuki says haha i do it all the time to share it with friends oh yeah oh yeah byron says dang i need him well byron uh if the game crashes um You'll be able to get him, brother. You'll be able to get him. All right, so we got Palafin. Yeah, what did Palafin do, game? What did he do? Did he just <laughs> yell out his name? Palafin! I missed. <laughs> uh, like I said, and one thing I'm going to do, too, is legitimately, um, we are going to make it so, uh, if we get, if we find one that is not a five star or higher raid, but it is an exclusive Pokemon. We'll make it so um anybody can join them to uh catch the exclusive Pokemon. For example, I'm on Scarlet, so like I would have Drifloom, uh I will have the Salamence line, I think, and we'll have other Pokemon like that. Oranguru is another one. Alright, so I'm not gonna catch them. I do not need this one, but let's see what we got. Ah, oh, we didn't get anything. Okay, we did save in front of it. As a just in case. But this one had no Herba Mystica on it, unfortunately. I just wanted to save it just in case. Because last time we got super, super lucky. Uh, Peter says, I want the muscle one. But for that, I need four people in one world. No, you don't need four people in one world for that, Peter. It's uh, You're talking about the hero form. So, the way it works is... When Palafin evolves, he his ability is zero, uh, zero form, and when you call him back using a move called, uh, I believe it's called Flip Tail, he will return to you in his hero form, but it won't stay in that form. We, we tested it yesterday, because I was trying to make it uh, so during one of the raids yesterday, he would stay in his uh, hero form, but he would not. So he's he it is cool, though. It is a cool form. But it's one of those ones where it literally only lasts the battle. Wait. Okay, no. I was going to say, you're not pink, are you? Wait, hold on. Because we did get two yesterday. We did get two shiny palmy yesterday. And he is a very, very beautiful pink shiny. And we got two extra. We got two more flutter main. Ooh, Haxorus. Haxorus is normally a dragon type Pokemon. His terror for this is dark this one honestly might take us a minute hey welcome back colton colton says i'm back just got off of work hope work was good for you man welcome back brother oh my god that tastes so good i definitely needed that today i needed that little bit of energy today chat i've been so tired <laughs> I'm a sleepy boy. Uh, and like I said, I said this earlier, but in case anybody missed it, we are doing Shiny Sunday this Sunday, even though it's Christmas. Like, it probably won't be as long as other Shiny Sundays. We'll, we'll go at least the average time that I go, which is about three hours. We got uh, Kamisuke back in, we got Danielle, and we got Peter. Alright, sweet. But yeah, we will be doing a Shiny Sunday. I did not realize that this Sunday for Shiny Sunday also happens to be Christmas. But I made a promise that we'll go every single day unless I'm legitimately just dying on the inside. Like, I'm super sick or anything like that. Or if I just need, like, a little bit of a vacation for a day. Like, just need a little mental break. But other than that, we're going every single day, chat. Plus, everybody loves shiny Pokemon, and everybody loves shiny Sunday so far, it seems. I definitely love it. I'm glad I made up that dumb word for it. Alright. Uh, Dark-type Pokemon, I remember, are weak to fighting. Oh, but he's... Okay, and I guess Fairy as well. Okay. Alright, that works. That did nothing. We're doing the belly drum uh colton says was exhausting had to run a bunch of beds in storage patient room oh it's good food i'm sorry colt hey at least at least you're home now and byron says oh my god so many jolty on there you go byron 
get your shiny Jolteon, man. I know it's not shiny Sunday, Byron. That's usually when everybody has the good shiny luck, but you've been super lucky since uh, finding the channel. So hopefully that luck continues and you get yourself your shiny Jolteon. He is building up his defense, that is for sure. Oh, speaking of hard, and I forgot to mention this. So, I've been watching, I, I've said this, I've been watching, like, the original Pokemon anime. I got to the episode where it was the, uh, Metapod Harden thing. Uh, oh my god, that's still so damn funny. Maximum Harden! Harden even more than that! It was so damn funny, it was goofy. But my god, was it so much fun to see that again. Oh, goodness. I'm very easily entertained. And Daniel also says, get that jolty on. Golden says, I'm on my way home. I'm on my ho way home now. Almost said my, I'm on my home. <laughs> I can't even say what I was going to say. I was, I almost said, I'm on my now home. That's what I was about to say. There we go. I finally got it out. Still not good with words. Still not good with words. Byron says, I just watched that. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. It was so, so funny, man. Uh, it still holds up. It still holds up. And then the first episode, Pikachu's laughing at a tree. And I'm, yeah, because Ash was a terrible trainer in the beginning. Um, uh, and I remember uh, the Pokedex, uh, Dexter, like, it would say, it would talk, and like, unless the trainer is stupid. And I'm just like, wow, if I was 10 years old and had that Pokedex, I'd probably cry. I would probably cry. Uh, but it, it's a lot of fun. It, like I said, I'm a very nostalgic person. So like, if I see something from my childhood and it gets me all giddy, I'm just like, ooh, I love this feeling. Like anytime I watch, um, I watch Pokemon card openings on YouTube. And so uh, sometimes like I'll see somebody open up a pack like that of, uh, like say base set, the first set. Uh, which, I opened up a few base set. Uh, I was kind of young, but I remember opening it. I didn't get anything good, let's be honest. Um, but I remember opening up, like, a ton of fossil packs. Like, a ton of fossil. And also, uh, Team Rocket, which are, ah, uh, we failed it, but that's okay, we'll get it back up. Uh, and a ton of, uh, Team Rocket packs. Those were the two I mainly opened as a kid. And, like, I was thinking about, um more and i was like i remember this it was my birthday and one of my mom's friends um it was this uh she got me some uh pokemon cards but it came in this weird huge plastic casing almost like how the boxes are now but it was just solid solid plastic that had a ton of like first edition packs and i believe like, they were about, it was like 30 bucks, but you got a lot of packs out of it. And it uh, came with Team Rocket, it came with Jungle, and some other things like that. You gotta think, this is back in the day, that thing would be stupid expensive now. Um, And I had just remembered that, like, the other night. I was like, I remember that. I remember opening that up, because I also had Sonic that night. I can remember some weird shit, chat. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I wasn't reading chat. Peter says, what? He's just spamming Giga Impact. Hey, he does that. I guess I will get it again. Uh, Kamisuke says, Hacks are doing the hacks. Multiple HP regen. Yeah, it happens. It happens. And Peter says, damn, we're going to do it, Peter. We got it back up. We are good, my man. We can do this. I believe in us. Uh, but yeah, anytime I watch like something and I get nostalgic, I get giddy. I get super giddy. Wait, who did a laughing emoji? That was Danielle. Okay, cool, yeah. D okay, Danielle's probably laughing at, like, when I said, yeah, I probably would have cried. She's probably thinking, oh, that cr damn crybaby. That damn crybaby. We got Danielle back in. We got Danielle. Oh, yeah, Danielle. Um, been I meant to ask you this this morning when I texted you. Uh, did Izzy get her uh, Christmas present uh, from me today? Or last night, I should say. For last night. I forgot to ask that. That is my bad. We got room for... We got room for two more. Oh, we lost Danielle. She backed out. She was like, nah, screw this Haxorus. Screw this Haxorus. I'm out. She's like my dad. She just disappeared. Like, peace.
All right, if we don't get anybody in this one. Uh, Daniel says, I picked it up on launch UPS had closed at 6.30. Okay, I was figuring, like, I, that's why I was asking, like, what time does it close? Because by the time, like, I asked you that, it was about 6 o'clock. So, I'm glad she's going to get it today. I hope she loves it. Daniel says, oops. Yeah, I know. You disappeared like my dad, Danielle. You disappeared like my dad. I knew you were going to do it one day. I knew you were going to do it. Danielle wants to go get the milk. Hey, but even though she went to go get the milk chat, she's back. <laughs> and we got Peter back in. Awesome. We got a full team. We got a full team ready to go. Uh, Peter says, this said error. No raid was for foul. This game's weird sometimes, bro. This game is weird sometimes. We got you in, though, bro. It is all good. We got this. Uh, I guess I could say, uh, <laughs> Daniel, don't you clip this either. I guess I could say, Daddy Daniel came back with the milk and cigarettes. Yay! I hate myself sometimes when I speak. <laughs> Ew, look at you two and your shinies. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Fuck your first impression. I'm on a belly drum. Oh, good God. <laughs> Every time I tell Danielle not to clip something, she's just like, I do what I want. Oh, God. I'm kind of glad, like, the clips, though, have not been put out to the public yet. And, and Kamisaki clips it as well. Damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but it's all in good fun. Like I said, I like making people laugh, even if it's my own, at my own expense. Like, the world needs more laughter. The world needs more laughter chat. Of course he has to show up, but we're gonna beat his ass. We're gonna beat him so bad he's gonna call us Pappy. I hate that word. I hate that word too. Yeah. Game. Yeah, go all of our Pokemon cheered. Yay. Can I do something? There we go. There we go. Of course, I missed. Of course. Alright, let's do this. There we go. Alright, there we go. We got some. We still got some time for this one. Daniel, of course, died right there, but that's okay. Yeah, he's just going to keep spamming the same thing over and over and over again. But his shield's almost broke. We still got enough time. I believe in us. I believe we can do this. Plus, he's going to have to recharge. Nope, I guess he's not. <laughs> I lied. Oops. Uh, But he is getting the boost with that Dragon Dance, unfortunately. Alright, so his shield... Is officially broke. Now, oh, now it says he has to recharge. Cool. And my move apparently did not hit him at all. What the hell, game? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Oh, what happened to our time? What the... What, excuse, uh, excuse you, game? Excuse me? Paxter is doing his highest again. Dude, he is. He's cheating. He is cheating. And Peter says, damn Giga Impact. Dude, that Giga Impact is oof. Alright, we'll try him again. We'll try him one more time. You guys know it, how it is. If we, if he beats our ass again, <sighs> excuse me, we'll, uh, we'll go do another happen. Uh, we'll go, we'll go find another Pokemon. Peter says, what the fuck happened to the time? Dude, I have no idea. We had plenty of time right there. I, somebody might have gone down, Peter. But again, it's all good. It is no worries at all, my man. 
Oh, and I meant to ask you, Peter, since you reset your phone, uh, did it fix your audio issues on your end? All right, one more time for this one, then we'll go find something else, because Axorus is a little, little shithead. A little shithead. So there it is. There is dip code. Ooh. All right, so I'm also going to check to make sure, because it's been a minute, that I have not missed any sort of reactions that I personally cannot see. Uh, no, we are good. We are good, chat. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like actually... <laughs> I like actually being caught up for once on everything. All right, we got Kamisuki back in. Welcome back, Kamisuki. We got room for two more people. So let's see who we get. Also, I forgot to mention this. We did get a uh, follow yesterday, but I didn't get to read it. It literally... Uh, we got Edward with the follow. I went down and checked. It literally came up uh, after uh, after our stream and everything like that. But uh, as soon as I pulled up, I heard a little ding. And I'm like, wait, I'm not live right now. What was that ding for? I forgot to mention it. So that is my bad. All right, so we also have Simon back in. And we got Peter back in. We got this, guys. Let's do this. All righty. I still need to get the Shiny Charm in Scarlet as well, but... Uh, Scarlet. <clears throat> Violet as well, but... It can wait. We'll be fine. Ooh, and Kamisuke is going to be using his Berserker. Okay. I remember, like, he... If I remember right, um... If I remember correctly... Uh... His, his Berserker... Does debuffs to the Pokemon. Uh, Peter says, Yesterday I could hear you across my house. I don't know what's going on, Peter. Like, I legitimately did not change any settings. I did not change any settings at all. Byron said, Unless you blew your speaker out on your phone or your headset. I don't know what's going on, my man. Uh, Byron says, Did we find out who Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster was? No, that person never let themselves be known. I think they were kind of embarrassed after I refused to read their name. Like, they did not, they did not come out and say who they were. Same with uh, whoever Red Rocket was. Uh, the Fallout reference. The Fallout 4 gas station reference, not the South Park reference. Daniel says, damn it. Daniel, you know, we will get you into another one. You're good. You'll be fine. I, oh, I one-shot him. But, of course, he gets some health back. Uh, yeah, I think with that debuff, we're dead. Yep, he's dead. He's totally fucked. How do you get to that mouth? Uh, my Glarian looks different. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, Byron. So, you get a Glarian Meowth. From doing, I believe it's the language classes at the school. So you have to do the language courses and get that professor's infinity all the way up. You have to beat the game, obviously, which I know you already have. Then he gives you a Galarian Meowth that evolves into this Pokemon, which is called Berserker. I think that's how you pronounce it. I really don't remember. Oh, God, the camera angle. Uh, Kamitsuki says, haha, two screeches. Is he the debuff god? I mean, whatever, Kamitsuki has him pretty damn well for debuffs, I will say that. I will definitely say that. I have one from a surprise trade. Yeah, uh, Kamitsuki has a really, really good one, man. So I would ask him, like, what he has on him. But, yeah, the, his is really good. I couldn't remember what Kamitsuki was using. Oh, I didn't know he evolved. Uh, he evolved. Yeah, yeah, he evolves into that. There's no um, Galarian Persian. He literally has a new form, and it's really good. And it's shiny. It's it's a yellow shiny. I'm not too big on it, but it looks pretty cool. And Berserker literally looks like a Viking. He is the Viking cat. And we beat him. GG's, guys. All right, I don't need to catch this one. All right, uh, we got... One piece of Herba Mystica. 
We got ourselves a spicy piece. There we go. We finally got one piece for today, chat. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, Byron says, hook me up with your move list. Yes, uh, Kamitsuki, if you could tell Byron what you have on your Berserker, that would be fantastic. So that way, so that way he can make himself a debuff, uh, Pokemon, because we've been, he's been wanting one, and for some Pokemon, we definitely need a debuff or, or a stat increase or so, something along those lines. Uh, but GG's, guys. GG's. Peter says, I have two gl uh, Galarian Meowth. Yeah, like I said, the only way to get it, uh, you can get it through surprise trades like Byron did, or you can you legitimately uh have to get it from um from doing uh school schoolwork language arts. You have to pass that max the infinity out with the professor, which is super easy. You just really have to just pay attention. Um, Kamisi says just. A usual Screech, Taunt, Home Claws, and Iron Head. Yes, that would be awesome. So that is what Kamisuke uses for his debuff Pokemon, which, again, he, honestly, every time Kamisuke is, uses that, when we're having some trouble, that definitely, definitely comes in clutch. So, in fact, I might, might, I might work with mine, too, later on to give him all those moves to help him out. Because Screech lowers, Taunt makes it, so... Doesn't he have to use the same move again? I don't remember really what Taunt does. Uh, Home Claws uh, increases attack, and then Iron Head uh, for an actual attack. Um, okay, we don't need that one. Uh, let's see. Peter says, any held items? Uh, I don't know if he uses anything for held items. And then Byron says, sweet, thank you. Yes, thank you, Kamitsuki, for telling us what you use, man. Because like I said, I will give my best advice to you guys. I'm not the best at these games. I do know a lot about them. I know a lot of Pokemon history. But at the end of the day, it all depends on what you guys want to use as well. What kind of strats you are going for. You spin me right round, baby. There we go. We're unstuck. Okay, cool. What is this one? Oh! Oh! We have one of Mitchell's new favorites. Tinkity Pinkity, aka Tinkerbutt, aka Mjolnir Holder. Five star fairy type. His normal typing is both fairy and steel. So this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be an interesting one, chat. Ooh, and I heard a little bit. Oh I might need to go get some Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go get some ibuprofen really quick, guys. So, go ahead and join in the raid. I will be, give me like two seconds. I'm going to go grab some Ivy Pro from, from my back and my neck. I'll be right back, everybody. One second. All right, I'm back, guys, and I can already see from my TV screen that we got Simon, we got Peter, and we got room for one more. Again, I apologize. I apologize. Oh, uh, weakness against fairy. Is there? Yes, uh, poison. Poison and steel. Poison and steel. I apologize, guys. I had to go get some. I usually have some on my desk, but I uh, legitimately ran out. But I needed some for my back and my neck because I'm an old man. I'm an old man. All right, we got room for one more. But yeah, uh, Peter, uh, to answer your question, steel and poison. As was weak against Ray. And we got Kumisaki back in. Welcome back. All right. Where the hell did my controller go? Oh. There it is. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Alright, let's do this, boys. 
We got this. And we got some gimme good coins right there. Uh, Peter says, never mind, I Googled it. You're good, man. You're good. Like I said, I would have answered it right then and there. Hey, Byron did it. Byron did it, chat. He got his shiny jolty on. Bro, congratulations. I know you've been wanting him for a while. Much love to you, Byron. Now Byron can go for Daniel's Flareon. I'm kidding. But still, congratulations, bro. I know you've been wanting him for a while. Uh, Kibisuke says, oh, excuse me. I use King's Rock for held item, but you could also use King Rock for flinching. Okay. Excuse me. Ooh. Try not to burp. My bad, guys. Like I said, I'm old. It happens. You get to my age, you cough a little bit, and you can't stop coughing. Let's leave it at that. Oh, uh, I think he got rid of our buffs. I hate... Uh, that's one thing I don't like, too. It's like Tinkaton did that. Like, what did he do? It just says his name game. So, I think he got rid of our buffs, but that's okay. I guess I'm pretty sure we're going to get this guy. No problemo. Like I said, Byron, you've been super, super lucky with your shiny since joining the community. I think a lot of people have, honestly. I've been getting some shiny. Like, it was a joke at first, but now I'm starting to question, like, is everybody getting shiny luck since joining the community? Or am I just not that lucky when it comes to shinies anymore? All right. So he's almost defeated. We still got plenty of time for this raid. And his shield has been broken. Let's see if the game will recognize that his shield is broke. Probably not for a minute. Oh, Gigaton here. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Gigaton Hammer is a very powerful move. 120 attack and 100% for um, the hit rate. You can only use it... You yeah, have to wait a turn before you can use it again. But my... God, it's one of the most powerful new moves in the entire game. Daniel says yay to Byron getting his shiny jolty on. And Daniel, he's thinking about, uh, he said this earlier while you were at lunch, uh, going, because he has an outbreak of Flareon, uh, going to catch you one. Because he doesn't like him shiny, but he knows you'll want them all. No Urbamiska, but we did get a bottle cap, and we also beat his ass super quick, Jet. Uh, GG's, guys. GG's. Let's see. Uh, we are almost... We're an hour and 43 minutes into this session so far today. Uh, Byron says, Sylveon's Hyper Beam has 150 attack. Damn, dude. Good God. Hyper, Beam's, Hyper Beam is kind of OP in this game. And, uh, I remember, like... In the first generation Pokemon, like, that was one of the best moves to have, was Hyper Beam. Like, I'm talking, like, red and blue era first generation Pokemon games. That was one of the best moves to have. And after a while, like, it got debuffed for a while. It wasn't that great. It was okay, uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't as good as it used to be. In this game, it seems like they finally brought it back to a fucking huge power-up. Daniel says, ooh, or go, or oh, I don't know which one. Sunflora, we don't need Sunflora. Okay, uh, we got a fighting one over here, and then we'll go check out these guys. Uh, posted my one shot on Charizard in Discord a few days back. I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I've seen it yet, man. I will definitely have to watch. I have to get caught up in Discord. Like I said, I got a ton of messages, but... I had to go do my, uh, had to go run an errand, so I legitimately don't know what is going on on our Discord right now. What you think, being the owner of it, I need to be caught up, but I'm sorry. I've just been, just been a little busy, my man. Four star wish cash. Okay, we don't need that. I think that was the only, no, there's one more over here. We'll go check out. 
Yeah, I remember you saying, though, that you one-shot Charizard thanks to your Sylveon. There's also... Wait, there was not one over here a minute ago. Why is it... Okay, there's a grass one here now for some reason. Rouse check. Nope. <laughs> Magikarp. Alright. So let's go check out this fighting one. And I, I legitimately did not see that grass one, though. Uh, Danielle says, doing a sandwich, trying for a shiny larvitar. Ooh, Danielle, let me know if you get him. I will be doing a Oat World Open. Uh, I promised both Simon and Byron a spot. Four star. We don't need that one. Uh, later on in today's session. And like I said, you guys keep your Urban Mystica. And I will use mine to help you. So there's our six star. You know what, let's go see what our 6-star is today. Why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon, why not? One of the funniest Pokemon memes that I've seen is a picture of a why not, and it kept getting, like, zoomed in on it more. They asked me why I murdered him, and I said, why not? And he's just, like, smiling the why not, and I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> Alrighty. So there we go. Uh, so yes, we're going to go up here and check out to see what our six star for today is. We've been having some problems with some six stars. This one is a fairy type. Come on, game. There we go. There we go. Peter says six star. We kind of die. Nah. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so it's a fairy type. Uh, hang on, I want to check. I think he, I know he's ice, but I think he's dragon and ice. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to put an A to Z and go over to Goofy Baby's big mean cousin. Uh, I passed him already. I think. I don't remember his name. I just call him Goofy. There he is. Uh, details. Okay, so his normal typing is just ice. So he will have ice type moves. Normally, and fairy. Like I said, fairy is weak to both poison and steel. So let us get in. Okay, you know what? Yeah, because I just saw Kamisuke's. We're going to save just in case if we get a ton of Urban Mystica and we beat him pretty easily. That way, uh, our game can crash and we will uh, get that ready. Daniel says so many larvids are. Hopefully you get your shiny boy, Daniel, because he's a cool shiny. Uh, Kumitsuki says, I had him six stars yesterday, uh, two herb. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad at all, man. Who, we had Gengar yesterday. We did not get any herb in Mystica. And he kept beating our ass for a good minute, but we ca I caught him. I caught him. Like, because I could use a good Gengar, and that one was 5 out of 6. So that one is a really, really good to have. But remember, it's always a 68% chance that we'll get it from a 6-star. I believe 38 for 5-star. But either way, we can totally do this. We got Simon back in. Welcome back, Simon. And we got room for two more. Like I said, guys, if we get a ton of Urban Mystica, the game will crash on us. And we will just uh, keep doing this for a little bit until I get ready to do the uh, Shiny Sandwich Method. So that way everybody can stack up with some Urban Mystica. So we got Byron back in as well. Welcome back, good sir. And we got enough room for one more person, which is Kumisuki. Hell yeah, let's do this. Uh, Kumisuki, do you want to be our debuffer? You want to debuff him for us, bro? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and ready up. Alright, so me and Simon are using the same Pokemon. Byron is going to be using his Sylveon. And Kamisuke is... I don't know who he's using yet. Uh, Colton said I just got home and loading up. Hey, welcome back, Colton. Welcome back, bro. Okay, cool. Kamisuke is using his Preserker. Oh, this is a shiny. Dude, if it's a... Sh I'll tell you what. If it's a shiny, Kamisuke, I'll rip my shirt off. I'll rip my shirt off. And show you guys my dad bod here on chat. I don't think he's going to be shiny. Please, for the love of God, don't let him be shiny now. Because I don't want to do that.
See? Nope, he's not shiny. Okay. You guys don't get to see the dad bod today. Alright, there we go. We absolutely got that. Like I said, if we get some Urban Mystica from it, the game will crash. And we'll keep doing it for a little while so everybody could stack up on some Urban Mystica. I won't get it. But, hey, you know, that's fine. I'm here to help the community. Uh, Byron says, gonna level up my Yalf after we beat this. Hell yeah, bro. So that way you can have a debuffer. He already got rid of his negative effects from himself. He's scared. Oh, he's a heavy boy, too. So that's gonna do some damage. And that was a crit. And that was a crit. Alright, sweet. Sweet. Uh, and I know Danielle is going for her, her shiny Larvitar. I'm trying to remember what Pokemon it was. So hopefully she gets it. She hasn't been having too much good shiny luck either lately. I got some last night. But hopefully she gets hers. All right. So he got his shield up. He got some health back. But we got this. I believe in us. Alright, I see Kamisuki is stacking up, ready to do a big hit. We still got our belly drum, which is great. Oh, and his attack fell. I forgot Play Rough has that effect. It can uh, get rid of a little bit of attack. There's no way. Daniel just sent me a photo. There's no way. Oh my god, that, that is a lot. She just sent me a photo of all the Larvitar. <laughs> it looks like a family reunion. Uh, hey, what's up, man? Welcome back, Roger. Roger says, good afternoon, no surgery until January 5th. Dude, I was talking about you early in the stream. Uh, I didn't say your name or anything like that, but I was like, there's a member of the community here who might have to have surgery today, and we are wishing him the best of luck. Dude, that is good news. How are you feeling today, Roger? I'm glad to hear that you are, that you don't have to have it for a little bit, so you can do it after the holidays, brother. Super, super good to hear. We're doing some raids, Roger. We're having some fun. We got Byron here, who has got his shiny Jolteon. Danielle's going for Larvitar, and we are just doing some raids. And if we get a lot of Urban Mystica from this one, you know how it is, Roger. The game will crash on us. Uh, Byron says, it didn't register any damage from my move. Dude, it does that sometimes. I've seen it do that sometimes. It is unfortunate. It does happen. Yeah, it's not registering any damage for mine. Uh, I might have to belly drum again. I was not paying attention to see if he got rid of it or not. Okay, no, his shield's broke. His shield's broke. I'm going to try belly drum again, though, just in case, because never mind, I'm asleep. <laughs> I was not paying attention right there if he got rid of it. Okay, he did, because I just saw um, Simon use his uh, belly drum. But we still got plenty of time. We got this. It was my big hyper beam too. Dude, that is oh no. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, and Simon with the kill. Of course he did it doesn't register. He was dead, but he is about to be. He is about to be chat. Wake up, Azuro. Azuro, wake up. You're late. All right, yeah, he's dead. That was an easy one. That was our easiest one in a good long while. Uh, Roger says, oh, thanks, man. I'm okay. They did put the crystal on both eyes. That's a twosie. Dude, mm -hmm. I'm just glad that you're here today and that you have to wait for your surgery, man. And Simon says, GG. Okay, so let's see. We got two, chat. We got two Urban Mystica, so we are guaranteed to get two Urban Mystica. And GG's to you, Simon. And Roger, I'm glad you, I'm glad you're doing okay today. And Crystal, I'm like, I, I, 
I'm just imagining like they're putting like big rocks on your eyes. Kuisuke says, well, nice. All right, chat. So we did save chat before doing that raid. And oh my God, chat, look outside of your window. There's a super scary monster. Oh, man, you missed it, chat. You missed it. The game crashed. You were looking at that super scary monster outside and the game crashed. Good God. Oh, man, don't you just hate it when that happens, chat? Don't you just hate it when that happens? Oh, man. That's annoying. Come on, Game Freak. Get with the program. Fix your damn game. All right? Come on. All right. Peter says, I went on, on, I went in on the next six-star rate. Hey, we'll hopefully get you, man. We will hopefully get you. All right. See that, guys? Like, unfortunately, the game crashed on us. So I guess we're just going to have to do it again. I guess we're going to have to do it again, chat. Cool. We're connected to the internet. All right. We're going to throw down another save real quick. I'll do this only a couple of times because, again, this is kind of risky. And I don't have the money for us. another switch. All right. <clears throat> so... Let us get that code up and ready to go. All right, there's a the code. Again, anybody can join. Does not matter for who you are. Uh, Kamisuke says, I won't go for a uh, double dip. You can have my slot. Much love to you, Kamisuke. Much love to you. Like I said, I'm glad you guys are super nice when it comes to these raids, when it comes to shiny Pokemon. We are building a really, really good community here. We're almost at 260 followers for the page now. Which is 60 more than uh than the end of year goal, which is awesome. Yeah, I need to get some vapor juice really quick. We got Colton back in. Hey, I know Colton has been waiting to get him one. Congratulations, Colton. We have Ralph with the follow. Thank you so much, Ralph. How are you doing today? Uh, Roger says, basically, LOL, magnifying crystal that focuses on an exam machine. Light into a smaller but super bright uh, beam. You could... You can, see, you can see it with your own eye if that makes sense. No, no, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Oh, dude. Like, no, but for when you said crystals, I was just thinking, like, they're just taking rocks, like, and just putting them on your eyes, like, just, like, how do you feel? Enlightened. <laughs> All right. Uh, Peter says, no, we need a debuffer. I can't do it alone. You're not doing it alone. We got everybody here. We got this, Peter. We're going to have fun with it. We got Colton, we got Simon, and we got Peter in. We can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us. I know Byron is going to level up his uh, Meowth into Berserker and build hit just, probably just like Kamisuki's, because his is really, really good for debuffs, so GG's for that. Uh, Roger says, I'd help, but I'm not getting this game for a while. Roger, you are good, man. You are good. We're just uh, doing we're doing this raid now because it's giving us two Urban Mystica per raid, and unfortunately, this sucks, Roger. Tell me this sucks. There, there's always this super scary monster that comes outside your guys' window, and when you guys look at it, the game just crashes. It just crashes super, super hard, and we just have to get it back up. We have to get the raid back up. Like it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate that that happens. It started to snow. Oh, apparently, uh, some people are saying it might snow here. In a, uh, it might snow here uh, for a few days. Uh, which, that would be nice. I love the snow. I The last time it snowed... Um, I did not get to go play in it or anything like that. I did stick my foot on like our steps because like I was uh I was going through some stuff. Uh, had a couple of procedures or one procedure and then a major surgery, so I couldn't really get a warrant round. I couldn't walk that well. I was in pain all the time because of it, and unfortunately, uh, I could not play in the snow, which I was very very sad about. That was the worst part. That was the worst part of it. Kuisuke says clip monster. Dude, you gotta you guys gotta try to take a video of that super scary monster. Like 
He he is ooh, he's scary. He's super scary. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> so be, uh so Kamiski added extra parts of that uh did not clip right there. <laughs> All right. Speaking of monster, oh, it's just monster energy can with like a knife or something outside your guys' window. That's what it is all the time. That's the monster. Ah, uh, we might fail this one, but that's okay. You guys know we'll get it back up. We're having fun doing these. It's all about the experience. All right, belly drum. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Kevin said King Gambit would be great for this. Race. King Gambit really would. He really would, since he's um, since it's a uh, fairy type, and fairy is weak to steel and poison. And also, how are you doing today, Kevin? Welcome to the stream, my man. Ah, he killed me. <laughs> that is okay. That is okay. Uh, Peter says we need uh, Kamisuke. Dude, well, we will get this. We will get this. Uh, Kamisuke says, that's the kind of monster on the window that I would love to be friends with. <laughs> uh, no, you would, you, would op you would crack it open and start drinking him. He'd be like, no, why? No. My head is messed up. Where's my stuff at? Hold up. Where... I feel it messed up. Hang on. I gotta fix my hat. This is gonna bug me. Nope. Wrong way. Why are you sagging so bad, hat? I feel like I'm wearing a diaper on my head right now. There we go. Uh, Byron says, okay, my berserker is 100. Very nice, bro. Very, very nice. Uh, how did you EV train the berserker? Okay, so Byron, I'll show you real quick. So, there's a couple things you'll need. You will need... Not to go there. <laughs> uh, to EV train, you'll need the supplements. Like the HP up, protein, all that stuff. And you will also need... Where is it? I think it's all the way down. Yes, all the way down. You'll need bottle caps. Um, I don't remember where you go to trade in the bottle caps to hyper train the Pokemon. I really, really don't remember. I really don't remember where to go. If anybody in chat remembers where to go for it, uh please let me know because I really don't remember. Um Kevin says I'm oh hang on. <laughs> I gotta go back up. <clears throat> uh Kevin says I'm great. But looking for some more Pokemon streamers and King Gambit Steel type would also resist uh wow I gotta keep going up. Resist ice. That is true. That is very very true. King Game is good. And I'm glad you found me, man. I hope you are enjoying today's session so far. We're just doing some raids, like always, and anybody can join these. Does not matter how new or how old you are to the community. They're open to everybody. And the game keeps say it with me, chat. Crashing on us. <clears throat> and uh keeps going like that. Uh Kumisuke says, I max HP and attack. That makes sense for him. Uh, Byron asked what two, strat uh, what two stats to train. Kamiski said HP and attack for him. Daniel said, it's a town in the mountains that starts with an M. Mountain Town? Is it Mountain Town? I don't remember the town's name. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, Peter says, yes, let me know as well. I have five bottle caps. Colton says, Montevera guy with a bomb stuff. That's right. Dad, I remember now. Thank you, Colton. And thank you, Danielle, as well. I couldn't remember. I've only done a while. Uh, bro, I not that much. <clears throat> Kevin says, hopefully you guys are still rating when I get off of work. I will be doing these for a while, Kevin. We'll be doing these for a while, bro. Absolutely. And Kevin, if you want to know when we go live, and if you like the content, if you like the chill vibes, uh, don't forget to push, uh, put exclamation point notify. It does an automatic follow, so that way you know when we go live. I do raids and play games every single day. So even if you can't get in today, we will definitely definitely get you into some raids, bro. Okay, so we got Peter for this, we got Simon, and we got Byron. <coughs> we got this. 
I believe in us, chat. I believe in us. And King Gambit, honestly, he is a very cool Pokemon. <clears throat> First time I saw him was with the uh, champion. And when I saw him, I'm like, who are you and how do I get you? I didn't know he was a Basharp uh, evolution. I didn't know that Basharp got a new one. And he's a little... He can be a little difficult to evolve. He can be a little difficult uh, to evolve. Uh, Kevin says, followed you when I first got in. Did you? I am so sorry, Kevin. I did not hear it go off I, on my OBS. I apologize, man. Either way, thank you for the follow. It is much appreciated. Again, I didn't see it, so my bad for that, Kevin. <clears throat> Uh, Byron says, I got my king shiny knight. Oh, yeah, Byron. Di Wait, didn't you get the sharp shiny? So you got, you leveled him up and got him. Very, very nice, bro. <clears throat> Why is my, th oh, my goodness. Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. My throat was so dry there for a second, chat. I apologize. Do not kill me. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so now Byron has a very good debuffer. He has his shield up, but we have this. I believe in us. <clears throat> and again, like for anybody lurking, for anybody watching, uh, again, anybody could do these raids. Like I said, it doesn't matter how new or how old you are to the page. We do these for fun to not only get ourselves some good items, but to also just have a good time. Just have a very, very good time. Uh, Kamisuke says, you can also change the ability to Steely Spirit. So, multiple Berserker on raids can use Steel moves they can one-shot the raid. Damn! I did not know about that. That is awesome. Yeah, I might have to train mine up, too. Uh, just to get him. Uh, Kevin says, yeah, he's one of my favorite Pokemon from this gen. He's really cool. The Pokemon in this generation... We're really, really well done. There's some, obviously, I don't like. I mean, that's going to be for everybody. But as far as uh, designs go, they were pretty well done for this one. Besides the duck. Besides the duck starter. Uh, I still don't like him. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried, everybody. But he is my least favorite. I know a lot of people for um, Sprigatito were really, really hoping for a cat Pokemon that stayed on all four legs. Some people might have been a little bit disappointed by that. But either way, like I think they did Sprigatito pretty well. It wasn't like um, it, it wasn't like how um, Lit Leo 2 Incineroar was, where his first and middle evolution were uh, all four on the ground, and then all of a sudden you got this big luchador cat ready to go. It, it wasn't like that kind of thing, which a lot of people like Incineroar. They were it was his favorite. To me, I was I was all about Rowlet. Rowlet was my favorite from that generation. I saw him and I immediately fell in love with him. But Danielle did say something <laughs> that it stay I stayed stuck in my head. And I can't get it out, no matter how hard I try. <clears throat> Alright, I think I gotta use Belly Drum again, because I don't think I'm doing any damage to him now. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna do Belly Drum. See, I think he got rid of it. I honestly don't remember. I was not paying close attention. I was paying attention. Yeah, okay. I was paying more attention to chat. Uh, what type is that Corviknight? Corviknight is Flying Steel. That is what he is. He's actually a really good one. I had him on my playthrough for... Oh, man. I don't remember which version. This version. Scarlet. I had him on my uh, playthrough of uh, Scarlet. It was really, really fun to use. I didn't use him last time. We got Roger with a like. Thank you so much, Roger. Uh, Kevin says, LOL. Dunspar's evolution was... Yeah, dude, I did not even know that was an evolution. I'm not gonna lie. My brother was the one that pointed that out. He's like, what do you think of Dunspar's evolution? I'm like, Dunspar's has an evolution? He goes, 
have you beat the normal gym yet? And I'm going to go, yeah. He's like, that was Dunsparce's evolution. I'm like, dude, I didn't even notice. I did not even notice. Uh, Daniel says, Rallet, yeah. So, Rallet has this little cute bow tie on his chest. <clears throat> and one day, Daniel goes, uh, you know, his bow tie kind of reminds me of titties. Kind of looks like titties. And now, every time I see Rallet, I cannot get that out of my head. I just see Rallet titties. <laughs> uh, Kamisuke says, uh, tell that to uh, Pomo. He just stands up when he evolved. But hey, 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 come on. Pommy is at least cute. Pommy is at least adorable. To Don Sparse, I could not even for the life of me tell that he was a uh, new Pokemon. He's almost beat. We got this, chat. He's dead. <laughs> I believe he's dead. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're just waiting for the game to recognize it. Oh, GG's, guys. GG's. Game? Okay, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, we should get to Herba Mystica from it again. I won't get it, uh, possibly. But either way, a lot of fun. So let's see if we got it that time. Yep. So another two Herba Mystica for everybody. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, okay, so I do want to check to make sure I did not miss any sort of notifications. That, again, I personally cannot see. Uh, let's see. No, we are good and caught up. What did I get an email for? Thank you, phone company. Thank you for telling me happy holidays. Pre appreciate it. The fuck? Okay, uh, so far for today's session, we have 15 reactions, 224 comments, and 6 shares for the session so far. Thank you so very much. And also, oh my god, guys, look, there's a super scary monster right outside of your window. Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh, guys. The game crashed on us. Again. Good God. Are you kidding me, Game Freak? Get your game working all right. Will the game crash again? Dude, it's that scary monster. It's that super scary monster that's right outside. It keeps making the game crash every time we beat that raid. I guess we'll just have to do it again. And I guess... You guys in chat will get some Herba Mystica from it. Oh my god. Don't you just hate it when the game crashes? Uh, <laughs> Suki says the monster's the window again. Need to sleep now. Uh, good god. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad I made that, <laughs> this stupid joke. <clears throat> yep, that's Pokemon. Yeah, Kevin. see, Kevin gets it. Kevin gets it. that there, When a super scary monster comes out, the game just automatically crashes. It's terrible. I hate when it happens. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Anyways, let's get this one back up. Alright, so we're going to challenge this group. Again, anybody could join. Uh, this will probably be the last one, like, to uh, crash. You guys get what I'm saying? Because, again, I don't want to do it too, too often, just in case if, uh, if uh, Nintendo is picking up what I'm throwing down. If Nintendo is picking up what I'm throwing down. Kamisuke, why would you clip that? Why would you clip that good, sir? What's going on, man? Alright, we got Colton back in. Welcome back, Colton. Again, this will be the last crash that happens, guys. So, if you need some Urban Mystica, come on in and get it. Oh, and Kamisuke, or I'm sorry, Colton is going to be using his Lucario. A.K.A. Harry Nipples. My Lucario over in Pokemon Violet. We got Simon back in. Welcome back, Simon. And we got room for one more. Peter says, my game is loading. No worries, Peter. No worries at all, man. Uh, don't you just guys hate it when your game crashes? You probably don't because you all get more <laughs> Mystica, but still. That... If we beat it again... Okay, we got Peter in. That'll be enough for uh, three uh, sandwiches right there for everybody once we defeat him again. Alright, sweet. We got this. I believe in us. Alright, so I'll go ahead and ready up on my end, and then I'm going to probably go ahead and might level up my Berserker. If I can find him. I have no idea where my stuff is in my box. 
So that way we can have a heavy hitter, and then we can also have a, uh, a debuffer for the raid Pokemon. Alright, so let's do this, chat. Let us do this. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so yeah, this will be the last game crash. Like the joking type of one. Alright, so let's do this. Belly drum. Like I said, it'd be nice if uh, we could literally buy Urban Mystica in a store, but we can't. Oh, and Colton has unfortunately lost his Lucario. That is okay, though. If we lose it, we'll just get it back up again, because you guys know how it is. It started to snow. Na, na, na. I avoided the attack. Na, na, na. Or I didn't attack. Golden said he, he one-shot me, didn't even get to set up Sword Dance. It's all good, bro. It is all good. It happens. Like I said, it's just a game. We're here having fun. It's kind of like, uh, I've mentioned this before, but like when I play Warzone, like I like to do the proximity chat just to mess with people and to have some fun. And uh, literally, some people take that game way too seriously. And it's like, it's just a game. It's not that serious. Come on. Joke around. Laugh a little bit. Get the stick out of your butt. <laughs> We're just here having a good time. That's the way I feel about every game. Like, I'm here to have a good time. Sometimes I get a little gamer rage, but that's literally just for solo games, not for online games. We got Tristan with the like. Welcome back, Tristan. How are you doing today, dude? Uh, oh, oh, wait, no. No, he felt his thing. Uh, I think he got rid of our belly drum, but that's okay. That is okay. Are my alerts working? I haven't heard it go off yet. There it goes. Okay, as soon as I say something. There we go. Tristan with the notify and the followage. Tristan has been following for four days. Much love to you, Tristan. Roger says, uh, killing part of a team and uh, forcing them extra onto mine in DMZ. DMZ. What is DMZ? I'm trying to think. Oh my god, I can't think of what DMZ is. I legitimately can't think of what DMZ is right now. And Tristan with the share as well. Much love to you, Tristan. I uh, hope you're having a good day today, bro. Uh, okay, uh, Byron says, Okay, EV train now. Gonna go hyper train the other stats. No worries at all, Byron. No worries at all. Kamisuke says, uh, It's just some uh, are doing it hardcore and what we're doing it casually. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Like, without a doubt, like, just don't take games too seriously. Like, it, especially multiplayer games, like, it's just for fun. It's literally just for fun. Can we see, or Tristan says, good morning. Good morning to you, Tristan. How are you doing today so far, bro? Uh, <laughs> Colt says, I just got back in. Come on. <laughs> uh, we, this was the first one we failed. This was the first one we failed. Uh, Byron says Warzone. Yeah, Warzone, dude. Well, like I said, I like playing it with, um, I like playing Warzone with Danielle and Sir Chester. It's super fun. I love messing with people on there. I think some of you guys have seen what I have said on Warzone because I don't take the game seriously at all. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, Roger says play mode on Modern Warfare 2 with NPC enemies or, and a handful of players. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about now, dude. I know what you're talking about now because uh, when I first... Like I said, I never played the original Warzone 2. I played... Uh, or, I'm sorry, the original Warzone. I never played that. So I got into Warzone 2 and Sir Chester was like, we should do the uh, DMZ mode so you kind of get used to it. And I said, nah, we'll just... Um, we'll just uh, continue doing uh, the full online mode because I got to get used to it. Uh, Peter says, we need a debuffer. Yeah, we do need debuffer. Uh, Tristan says, done, shiny hunting, uh, tanned amount. Tan I gotta scroll back up, sorry. Jeez, my eyes. Dude, did you get him? Did you actually get him, though, bro? That is the question. Roger says, there's one game I can't, I can't put down. It pisses me off. Uh, Vi, Vi, I don't think I've ever heard of that game. 
Susie, uh, uh, Su Suze J says, yo, I know I pronounced your name uh, incorrectly. What's up, Sue? How are you doing? I'll just say Sue. I apologize. I'm terrible with names. How are you doing today, Sue? Uh, Kamisuke says, haha, Tandemouse is hell, dude. I'm glad you survived me. Uh, survived me. I stopped at day three. Byron says, I'm coming in. All right, sweet. Let's get this next raid up. I apologize, guys. I just want to make sure that we get every uh, comment. If I miss a comment, I feel bad, and I apologize for it. There's literally only been a few times where I get super, super lost in chat, and it's, ugh. It can be a pain sometimes. It can be a pain. Susie says, good, good to hear, Susie. Good to hear. I keep saying Susie. I'm so I know that's not your name. I just say Sue. I apologize. I'm bad with names. We got Pat. Who is Pac7? Either way, welcome to the raid. Uh, Roger says, it's like a Tarvo. I, I don't know what that is either, Roger. I'm not going to lie. We got Peter back in, and we got room for one more. It is Byron. Me. Okay, okay. Awesome, Sue. Awesome. Yeah, anybody is more than welcome to join these raids. Like I said, this is for the community. We're having fun with it. And like I said, it doesn't matter how new or how old you are. We have fun doing these, without a doubt. Okay, uh... And is... Wait, what? And is Jesus backward? Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't notice that. Okay, so... <laughs> the name is Jesus backwards. Okay, I did not notice that. I did not notice that. <laughs> uh, Kamisuki says, uh, let's have four Berserker in raid next time. Oh, God. Four of them and one. Oh god, that would be that would be hell. Tristan says got uh times two of uh tender mouse adding to my living decks about day. Very nice, bro. Very nice. Danielle says, damn, still can't get in. Well, you know for a fact we will definitely get you in. Oh god, Peter says, kill, 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 Baltimore voice. I can't I don't remember how Baltimore sounds, so I can't do his voice off the top of my head right now. Uh but everybody, welcome to today's session. We've been almost like two and a half hours, but we're doing some raids. We're having some fun doing them, and later on, we will be doing possibly a shiny sandwich. It depends on, like, time and how many people we have wanting to do some raids, and just have a good time. And also, uh, Sue, uh, this one is guaranteed to give you two Urban Mystica, because our game, you know, you know how it is. Our game kept crashing on us. It was a big pain in the ass, but... There's a super scary monster outside of everybody's window. The game crashed, and we're just getting it back up so that way chat here can do some. Uh, chat, I will ask you guys this. Because, like I said, I'm afraid to keep redoing it over and over again just for the fact we could possibly get a ban. Uh, we got Liam with the fall. Thank you so much, Liam. Uh, should we, uh, should the game crash again for this one? Uh, again... Uh, so that way we can get some more people in for a guaranteed two herb mystica. Uh, Sue says, I'm on all the time. Awesome, awesome. Everybody, like I said, everybody is welcome here. Everybody is absolutely welcome here. We also have Liam with the like. Thank you so much, Liam. It is highly appreciated. Uh, Roger says, Lamau. <laughs> Always say Lamau. I did it. Uh, Kevin says, I have 40 Pokemon left to complete my decks and I'll start shiny hunting. Hey, that is awesome, Kevin. That is awesome. Hey, what's up, Liam? Liam says, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic today, man. We're doing some raids. Getting uh, the community some shiny herbs. You know, a little bit of Herba Mystica. So that way anybody here can go out and shiny hunt. Uh, Byron says yes and get Danielle in. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. We'll try it again. But, if my ch but chat, if my Switch gets banned... We're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of issues actually. I have I have no funds to get another switch. Uh Kevin says, uh Umbreon with nasty plot and foul play would be a good one too. I absolutely love Umbreon. That is one of my favorite evolutions, Umbreon and Sylveon. Uh Kamisuki says, Yep, let them once uh that haven't got uh got the urban. Yes, we will definitely get them in. We will definitely get them in. 
Colton says, my six star rate is a Terra grass type Glaceon. Haven't seen Glaceon as a grass side. That is actually, I don't think I have either. That's actually pretty weird. That's pretty weird, but cool. Liam says, uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, Dens to get Urba and have completed Scarlet and, uh, and Violet and got my Shiny Charm on both. Nice. I have both copies of the game too, Liam. I have the Shiny Charm here on Scarlet. I still need to get it for Violet. I, I'm i about almost 300 Pokemon in for uh, Violet. I just haven't been playing that one that much. Because I've been trying to just have some fun with the community. Uh, Kevin says, I have so many problems during doing Annihilate raids. It's crazy. No joke. We had two Annihilate raids back-to-back -back yesterday. We beat them pretty easily. And I, I was so tired of the first one. As soon as we clicked and it was another one, I did a bit where I put my headset up and I just literally walked behind the desk saying, nope, I'm out. Enjoy the stream. <laughs> Obviously, we did it, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Annihilate's a pretty cool Pokemon, but they did his shiny dirty, chat. They did his shiny very, very dirty. Ah, uh, and I'm asleep. Uh, and for everybody new here, usually we only do five and six star raids. However... One thing I decided to do, because we do have people here who have uh, j just played Violet, but they don't have any interest in getting the other version of the game, which I absolutely agree to. Like, there's no point in buying it. So what I will do is if we find a den, no matter what the level is of a Pokemon that's exclusive to a game, like if we're doing Violet and we get a Violet exclusive den, we'll do it no matter what the level is. We won't get a war uh, really good award. Same with uh, Scarlet. So that way, it kind of helps everybody's decks out a little bit. Liam says, so Titan, good Pokemon for Herb. I have had five of one day. Ooh, that is nice. Uh, the, we did a Palafin one the other day, in which we got four. But I didn't save before, it, so it was literally a one-time only one. And I didn't even notice, because I was reading chat. And so I look up, and I was like, oh, we got there. Like, there we go. We got two. We got two Urban Mystica. Congratulations, guys. Uh, Byron says, I can't lie, I love Berserker. Does he have... Yes, he does have a shiny. He is, like I said, he is a yellow Viking cat. And you guys know me. I am the true Viking with this big beard. So, I approve of that. Okay, chat. You guys ready? Oh my god, guys. There's a super scary monster outside of your window. Oh man, you guys missed it. The game crashed. Goodness gracious. Why does the game keep crashing on us? God, Game Freak, fix your damn game already. Good God. Ugh. Don't you guys just hate it when the game just completely crashes on you? Goodness gracious. Liam says two better than nothing. That is true. And unfortunately, our game crashed, chat. So you know what that means. We're just going to have to do that one again. I hate the game crashing. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. And yeah, two, two is definitely better than nothing. Uh, I gotta, hang on one second. I got a text message. My bad, everybody. What did Danielle get? Okay, Danielle, I see how it is. Uh, okay. So, all right. I know we have, we have quite a bit of people here watching. If you've done multiple of this raid the only thing i ask is you just let anybody else like come in and get it because daniel has not been able to do this yet to get some urban mystica uh i know for a fact sue just did one but that was literally sue's first one so sue can come back in and like i said if you've done multiple of them and you got a ton of urban mystica from us uh from the game crashing uh you know, let ever let other people have a chance. Like I try to make everything as fair as possible, chat. Um, Liam says I should be on Scarlet later at the moment, but I'll see what I could do. Hey, much love, man. Much love. It is all good, brother. Daniel says he is so cute. Daniel sent me a picture of her shiny goofy baby, Fue Coco. And I'm so glad Daniel gave him to me, so that way we could do something different for Shiny Sunday. Uh, Kamisuki says, I hate soloing 6-star and Eyelight P. The allied bots are so... are Wait, are using Intimidate Pokemon so Annihilate's uh, Define ability to activate? Yeah. I mean, honestly, um, honestly, when it comes to uh, the AI in this game, we got Colton back in. Welcome back, Colton. 
Um, when it comes to the AI, the AI is much, much better in this game for raids as compared to uh, Sword and Shield. Uh, okay, we got Danielle in. Okay, sweet. Uh, Sue says, cool, I was about to wait till the uh, end of the next one first. No, Sue, so you're good. You're good to join this one, Sue, because you literally only be able to do one. I'm trying to make these as fair as possible. Okay, so we got Colton, we got Danielle, and we got Sue in for this one. Uh, Byron asks, Minnesota Vikings are my favorite football team, and their colors are purple and yellow. Preserka would be perfect shiny. Hey, there you go, man. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not a sports person. I never have been. Probably, honestly, will never be. But it does not matter, because everybody has their own likes and interests. All right, so I'm all good and ready to go whenever anybody else is. Uh, Kevin says, Kamitsuki, LOL, honestly, don't believe it's possible. Well, not for me, at least. I have a full team of people with good mods, or there's no point in even trying. Hey, man, you never know unless you try. You never know unless you try, Kevin. It's a lot of fun. And welcome to all the new people here today. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking me out. Um, and I want to let everybody know, for that is new, we do something on sh uh, Sundays, which I know the Sunday is Christmas. I mentioned it briefly. It's called Shiny Sunday, in which... We shiny hunt, and we also give away shiny Pokemon to anybody in chat. It does not matter. Byron says, because you're lame. You're lame, Byron. That's why everyone calls you Brian, okay? Uh, shout out to Brian over here, all right? Uh, but yeah, we do shiny hunts on Sundays, and we also give away shiny Pokemon to anybody. Anybody does not matter how new or how old they are. And I try to make it as fair as possible. I still need to talk to Sir Chester to see if he wants to uh, give us some more eggs. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Like I said, it's not a guarantee that we will get one every single time from him. And I don't want to ask him, you know, like, hey, can I have some more eggs for my stream? You know, like, that's not fair. That is not fair to him at all. Plus, he is a very, very hardworking man, guys. But we do have people who are giving us some shiny Pokemon, uh, donating them to me. And any ones that are donated that are extras, we give them away that day. We give them all away. And I also throw in my own personal shinies that I have caught. Uh, Byron says, what's weak to steal? What's weak to steal? Uh, fire. Fire is very fire and ground, I believe, are very, very weak to steal type Pokemon. Kevin says, Liam, thanks, man. I have Violet. Hey, that is awesome. See, that's another thing, too, is building this community is great for the fact that other people have different versions of the game, so that way everybody can help each other out with their shiny charms to get their beautiful, beautiful sparkly boys that they want. And we have officially been live for two and a half hours, guys. Much love to everybody here, and that has been watching. You guys are awesome. Uh-oh. Okay, no, we're good. I don't know if I still have my... I don't think I have my, uh... Belly drum effect anymore. I'm not too sure. I'm reading chat. And I make some mistakes in the game, but hey, it happens. It absolutely happens. Okay, so let's do this again. There we go. And when, uh, like I said, it depends on time purposes, but I'm gonna try to get a world open for Byron, Simon, Danielle, and myself to do a shiny sandwich. You guys save your Urban Mystica, because I don't mind using mine if I don't get one, then I just, the game just crashes. You know how it is. Colton says I'm running out of Gigaton Hammer. Oh, no. Hey, Peter says I just got a shiny Gimlet in a trade. Very nice, bro. Very, very nice. Uh, I've, all, I've only ever gotten one shiny Pokemon from a random trade. It was a shiny Moltres that came from uh, X and Y, I believe, which was awesome. That was literally the only time I ever got a sh good Pokemon from a random trade. Usually it's just garbage. Uh, Roger says, ooh, what's Hammer Pokemon and what's, uh, and what's the Raid Mon's type? Yeah, okay, so... The Hammer Pokemon is Tinkaton, and it is a Steel Fairy type that is honestly one of the best, strongest new Pokemon this generation. Not the greatest shiny, but...
but still a very, very good Pokemon to have, without a doubt. Uh, and uh, its Terra type is, I believe it's normally Fairy, if I'm not mistaken. But again, you can change the Terra type to anything, as long as you have the right material. Uh, Roger, Peter says, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Somebody get this man a box of tissues. It's freaking awesome. Dude, that is awesome. I don't have too many um, new generation shiny Pokemon. I have Sprigatito and Fuecoco thanks to the very lovely and talented and my best friend Danielle. Uh, thanks to her, I have both of them shiny, so I don't have to go shiny hunt for them. I also have the Tumbleweed Pokemon shiny and the beautiful Blue Orthworm shiny. Uh, Kamitsugi says, I found an article you need Everstone to hold with Preserker upon breeding to etch Galarian Mia. Yes, thank you. Kamitsugi, I forgot about this. So, if you want to go for him shiny, Byron, you have to give your Preserker a Everstone or the Galarian Meowth. Otherwise, when you start hatching it, it'll be the Kanto Meowth and not the... Um, uh, not the one. It's same with uh, Johto um, Wooper, if you want to go for him shiny. Because of the fact of the way he works. Uh, Roger says, I got a shiny De uh, Deoxys off Wonder Trade. You, you guys are too damn lucky with these Wonder Trades. I'm, I'm going to show you how garbage I am with these in just a second. I'm going to show you the garbage I get. Byron says, uh, I got a perfect set shiny Ditto and a surprise trade. And Byron says, I got f oh, Yeah, I told you, Byron, you were going to get him that day. Danielle with the smile. Hey, Danielle, everybody, does a lot for me. And I know I say this a lot, but I truly do mean it. Without her, guys, I would not have the confidence to do this. She has been on, she's been by my side since day one, which is awesome. Everstone. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Byron. You're welcome. Okay, so that's the last time, guys that the game is going to crash on us, because I'm afraid if I do it too much, we will get a Switch fan, and I cannot afford another Nintendo Switch. I'm a very, very broke man. Simon says, really, Byron? That's quick. Dude, he did it on Shiny Sunday. I knew he could do it. I said, you're going to get him so quick. But I also... Okay, so to prove... Hang on. I'm going to save. I'm sorry, guys, but that is literally the last one for that one. We're going to get another one up in just a second. So do not worry. Um, yeah, the best, honestly, the best Masuda Method Shiny I ever got was five eggs on Sword and Shield, and it was my Shiny Charmander. Uh, Roger says, granted, that's all I did for a month or so to spam Wonder Trade to get good uh, breeding Pokemon. Hey, I mean, that's really, really good, too. Plus, you never know what you're going to get. Kumisuki says, okay, I think I need to sleep. Thanks for right. Hey, much love to you, Kumisuki. Thank you for coming in. And good luck, uh, or eh, thank you for coming in, watching us. Go get your sleep, sell some sleep, brother. Uh, Byron says, yeah, but I hatched almost a thousand Charmander with no like, hey, but we did, in fact, get you your shiny Charizard for Shiny Sunday. We all knew you wanted it so bad. He might have teared up just a little bit, but it was great, and I'm glad we were able to get to him. Simon says, Oh, <laughs> uh, Sue says, I got two uh, Japanese Ditto Shiny 6 IV. Ooh, that is nice. I do not have Shiny Ditto in this game yet. But I'm going to show you guys like how bad my luck is with these Wonder Trades. We're going to do this together. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do this, Deerling. Why not? Yep, we're going to do a surprise trade. I'm going to show you. We're going to get... Some random garbage, because I have never been lucky when it comes to these surprise trades. So we just got to wait a minute. It's doing the little circle thing on the top right corner. So one end is done. There we go. Let's check it. Let's see what we got. I guarantee you, we get some garbage. All right, so let's see. What are we going to get? I guarantee you, we're probably going to get a starter. Something just tells me we're going to get a starter. Oh, it's... Okay, so whoever this is, they are Japanese. Oh, we got some garbage, all right. We got Scatterbug. Non-shiny Scatterbug. No, we don't want to do it again. 
I told you guys, I'm not lucky when it comes to Wonder Trades. But either way, Peter, congratulations on your random shiny. And same to everybody else. I'm not good with Wonder Trades. Like I said, the only one I've ever gotten good was a shiny Moltres that came from X and Y. And I don't know where that... I have no idea where that Pokemon is. He has to be on my DS somewhere. He has to be on one of those games. Alright, so we're looking for another 5-star. Uh, Peter says, sent it in Discord chat. Okay, uh, in fact, I do need to check my Discord real quick, because I have not, for the life of me, checked it today. Just to make sure everybody is behaving themselves. Let's see. My, okay, I missed some shiny Pokemon. Uh, one of our community members has gotten one, two, three, four, five, six shiny Pokemon. Are you kidding me? And Peter, that is a very cool looking shiny. That is a very cool looking shiny. <laughs> Danielle, I see the meme you sent too. What the fuck, Danielle? <laughs> All right, so we're looking. That's why I gotta pay attention to my Discord, everybody. Like I said, today is literally the first day that. I did not know what was going on there, but I know everybody was behaving themselves because you guys are awesome. Dear Santa Claus, please run me over with the car. Lord Santa. Oh, God. I remember watching Bob's Burgers and <laughs> the kids on that show said Lord Santa and then Bob goes, you don't have to say Lord Santa. Yes, we do. And like, I thought it was a f one of the funniest damn things ever. I need to get Hulu so I can watch Bob Burgers again, because I really, really miss that one. I might try to see if I can uh, actually get a subscription to it tonight. Oh, uh, good God. <laughs> yeah, da you know what you did, Danielle, with your laughing self. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> I really, you know, I keep forgetting to do this, but there it's too late now. I should have got a Santa hat for our shiny Sunday that comes up on Christmas. Like I should have got a shiny hat. All right. A Santa hat, not a shiny hat. Jesus Christ. Uh, just use my Hulu, lol. I'll send you the login. Okay, Daniel, much love to you. For those of you who don't know, uh, Daniel, believe it or not, uh, it's been a year since I've had your Disney, uh, stuff. It has been a year because that popped up on my, uh, Facebook, uh, memory thing. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that's been a year. Byron says, yeah, no, worst cartoon ever. I like Bob's Burgers. What do you mean? I like Bob's Burgers. I find it funny. Uh,. Byron, if you don't like if you don't like Bob's Burgers, you you're, you say uh you hate me then. Are you saying you hate me, Byron? Have you had enough of me, bro? Three star. We don't need three star. Uh, uh, wait, no, we already checked that one. We already checked. Okay, I remember we checked that area. Um, we checked those. I don't know if we've checked this one. They have no chins. You can't... Okay, what do you got against... Uh, what do you have uh, against uh, people without chins, Byron? Daniel says, Bob's Burgers where I learned the phrase don't have a crap attack. Dude, that was so funny. Dude, Tina's dance, too. Like, in that, like, that fucking killed me. I love Bob's Burgers, man. Don't have a crap attack. I haven't heard you say that in a good while, too, Daniel. <laughs> All right, let's see. Three star. Uh, if I see it, I automatically get irritated. I guess I guess Byron doesn't love me anymore, chat. I guess he doesn't love me anymore. I didn't do enough for him. He won't watch Bob's Burgers. We used to hold hands and cuddle, and anytime I turn on Bob's Burgers, he um he beats me with a stick. I'm hang on, wait. I gotta clarify. That's a joke, Facebook. All right, joke police. That is a that is a joke. Just bam. 
I'm more of a Family Guy person. Uh, I used to like Family Guy. The new, I really, really like the old stuff. The new stuff, like, it's just not funny to me. I My favorite, though, is South Park. South Park has always, always been hilarious. We got uh, LaCroix with the like. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? I like South Park. South Park's super, super funny. I remember, uh, funny story. Speaking of South Park. You guys know I'm old. Um, I cannot help that. When South Park first came out, you guys remember the catchphrase, Oh my God, you killed Kenny, you bastards. Well, my mom took me over to uh, her best friend's uh, work site. And it was a big office type of thing, and I watched South Park all the time as a child. I was young. I was young. So what did I do? I look at everybody in that office, and I say, You killed Kenny, you bastards! And everybody in that office was dying laughing. And my mom was so embarrassed, like, Oh my god, no. And she didn't want me to watch South Park again, but yeah, of course I did. Of course I watched South Park all the time. Uh, it was a great moment. Uh, Byron says, South Park is amazing, especially the COVID specials. Now I'm going to watch them again. Hey, there you go, bro. I do. I just like that. I love the games, too. I would love to stream the games, but they are so damn vulgar. Like, And they're, they have some uh, nudity, so there's legitimately no, no way I could do that. Was he on? Are you calling me old, Danielle? Are you calling me old? You know what I was going to do? I was going to get up and do the Tina dance. Just to give you guys a good laugh. But because of the fact Danielle called me old, you guys don't get to see me dance. I'll do the... I'll do the head wag. You do your little girl walk, Dad. I don't have a girl walk. Yes, you do. You move your head like... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Uh, Daniel called me old, so now you all get to suffer for it. <laughs> We're not getting lucky with five stars anymore. There we go. Five star. Let's do this. Thank God. It's been a minute since we've had a five star. Again, anybody can join these. Does not matter who you are. I do want to check to make sure I did not miss any sort of reactions that I personally cannot see. You guys know how it is. Uh, no, we are caught up on everything. Very, very nice. We are at 18 reactions, 315 comments, and 6 shares for today's session so far. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, oh, dude, I think, I think this code is telling me something. It's telling me to jump, but they, for, they forgot the U. So I guess I don't have to jump. It's jump. <laughs> we got Colton back in. Welcome back, Colton. Sorry that took me a minute to find another five star. Like we haven't checked damn near every single one today. We got Simon back in. Welcome back, Simon. And we got room for one more person. Oh goodness gracious. Uh I had so much fun with chat, even if chat starts messing with me for a while. And we got Peter back. Welcome back, Peter. Peter, it's the Pokemon uh, that your shiny you just got will evolve into good stuff. anti ransom Alright, let's do this, chat. Daniel calling me old. I have a story. Danielle likes to mess with me. It's time for me to mess with her, chat. Danielle, don't hurt me. <laughs> so, this was early on in our friendship, chat. I'm talking early days. Like, we were starting to still get to know each other early. And, uh, one day she was at work and she sent a, a selfie of herself to me. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna mess with her a little bit. I said, dude, you got crow's feet. And she goes, what? And I'm like, yeah, you got crow's feet. She went into the bathroom to check and she immediately texted me back, I don't have crow's feet, you asshole. And it was so funny to me, just due to the fact she checked. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, yeah. I might be screwed here. I might have picked the wrong Pokemon. But I had a mess with her. But 
She's gotten me back plenty of times. I will say that, chat. Yeah, there it is. There's the middle finger. <laughs> That's one thing I definitely will never forget for our friendship. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Danielle, you know I'm getting old. Uh, but no, for anybody, let me clarify. She doesn't have crow's feet, and she still looks super, super young. Like, if I were to guess, I would say Danielle would probably be, like, exactly at 20. For her age, that's how young she looks in real life, Jet. And she's also super short, but I mean, she can't. I mean, she could help that. Grow tall, Danielle. Come on, be a Godzilla height like me. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Peter. I miss your comment. Peter says I already evolved. Hey, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you, bro. Uh. I'm surprised it has not killed me yet with poison attacks. But we are still good. We got plenty of time. He's going to go down. There I hear. Okay, we got some help back. There we go. Oh, we finally... Okay, so I lost mine, and Simon lost his as well. That's okay, though. He is almost dead. I believe in us. Alright, but this gives me a chance to do the belly drum. Wait, did I already... How did I already get poison? Oh, wait, yeah, his ability... As soon as you hit him, those poison spikes go everywhere. That's right. That's right. Uh, Colton says it can't touch me because Sam Val. Oh, lucky you, Colton. Lucky you, bro. I'm getting my ass beat a little bit. All right, his shield's broke. Let's go, guys. We got this. Hey, game, I would love to hit him. Please. Oh, that messed me up. That ah, messed me up. Yeah, I know, game. I know. I think we just lost. Yep. Uh, we totally didn't lose our chat. Uh, the game, uh, we, uh, we beat him. We beat him, no problem. And we had a good time doing it. Yeah, we didn't lose there. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Colton says it killed me now. Colton, you just had to say something. <laughs> Colton, you had to say something. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Before we get this right up again, something I want to do. I want, first of all, I want to break free, just like the late, great Freddie Mercury. I want to go ahead and get uh, my debuffer ready, because I said I was going to do that, and I know for a fact I'm going to forget later. So I'm going to level up my Berserker really quick. We're going to level him up, and we're going to see what our what our stat is at for him. So let's go to Debox and search for him. Do, 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 do. So give me one second, chat. Cause otherwise, I'm going to forget this. I'm not going to lie. Hello? Did I... Hello, game? Did I... Am I dumb? Wait, Pachi is a Pelican. No, 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 no. Huh? Hold on, no. His name is Berserker, isn't it? Is his name Berserker or am I going insane? Wait. Hello? I forgot I had spirit team. Why do I have a random egg right here? I don't know what that is. I I don't know what that egg is. Uh, yeah, preserve. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, did, am I just dumb? Did I miss him?
Are you saying he's not in the search? He's not in the search. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Chet, I don't know where my kitty cat is. Is he in the first? Okay, he's not in the first box. Oh, that was the second box. I'm losing my mind right now, guys. Okay, uh. It says beyond that's a shit ton of eggs. He's not there. He's definitely not there. I know for a fact he's not in our shiny spot. Not part of the decks, so won't be in. Sir it, wait, he has to be. Part wait, is he not part of the decks? I thought he was part of the decks. Oh, great. So now we got to play. Uh, where's Waldo, then? Son of a bitch. You are kidding me. I gotta play Where's Waldo. There he is. There he is. Okay, we're gonna move him to a box that I can actually tell where he's at. If it'll load. There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna use him. Okay, so we're gonna use the Kimisuki strat. We're gonna move Corviknights. Uh, are you okay? So we'll do HP and strength for him. I only have one and one. I legitimately don't have any right now. Are you kidding me? Uh, good god. Okay, that that'll work for right now. And then I'll level him up, and then I'll go hyper train him later. Uh, goodness gracious. Yeah, think I would learn by now. Okay, so we have 200 and... So it's going to take 98. There we go. Fury swipes. No. Screech. Yes, we want Screech. Uh, we'll get rid of Fake Out. Nice. So, like I said, it's going to take a minute. Slash. No, we don't need Slash. Slash used to be really, really OP. God, I don't remember. I, I can't scroll up that far. Byron, what? What are all the moves? I remember Screech. I remember Home Claws. And that's about. All right. No, excuse me, game. Uh, I'm, okay, hang on. Nope. I'm in the wrong thing. All right. Wait. Am I in the wrong thing? Check summary. Uh, remember moves. There we go. Um. Iron Defense. Home Claws. That was one. I remember that. Uh, Iron Head was one. So we'll get rid of that. I don't know for fourth. Okay, no worries, man. Uh, let's see. Remember moves. That's for special defense. Uh... I, you know what? I think that'll work for right now. We got Screech. We got Home Claws. I do want to get rid of that Scratch. I do want to get rid of that Scratch. We'll do Metal Sound, because that'll get rid of SP. Well, no, we, wait, wait. What does Screech do? That's normal defense, so hang on. Because uh, I think everybody's just using hitting uh, actual hit moves. It was Taunts. It was Taunts. I remember now. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so my bad, everybody. Like I said, I wanted to make sure we had a good debuffer for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead, change our Pokemon over to Berserker, and then get the starter. So I'll debuff for a little bit. I want to get used to him, so I will use my Berserker. Okay, sweet. I went with Growl. Okay, it took me a minute to remember, like, one move, and then as soon as I saw it, it dawned on me, like, okay, that was the fourth move he had on his. Alright, sweet. Oh, cool. Our code is chips. Hell yeah. Something I really wish I had right now because I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. And we have just hit the three hour mark for today's session so far. 
All right, sweet. Start with two screeches. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that, man. Two screeches, a taunt. I'll do home claws, and then if he gets rid of his thing, I'll just keep screeching him. I'll just keep screeching him. Uh, Daniel, I know you're at work, but I have a question. If I was to get a world up, which I promised both Byron and Simon, would you be able to get into the world while at work uh, for a shiny sandwich? We got Danielle, we got Peter, and we got Colton in. All right, sweet. Because, like I said, towards the end of the stream, we'll be doing a shiny sandwich method. And I promised it to Byron and to Simon yesterday. And, of course, I can't uh, have this without my best friend. Uh, Byron says, what is Flareon shiny? Isn't it just the lighter one? It is. Dude, you can't even barely tell it's shiny. It's, like, a little discolored. You, honestly, it, it's a terrible shiny. Not as bad as Garchomp. Don't get me wrong. Not as bad as Garchomp, but still not that great. Daniel says, yeah. Okay. So, guys, this will probably be our last raid of the day. And then, Simon, are you still watching, good sir? That way I could send the code to Byron, to Danielle, and to Simon. So that way we can all get in. Because where my camera is placed, it will, uh, it will hide the code. Simon says, my Berserker is level 100. What moves are best? Um... I, okay, so Kamisuki gave us an I and yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice, bro, nice. We will get you in. We will get you in. Uh, I'm using Screech, Home Claws, Taunt, and uh, Iron Head, which mine is basically a debuffer right now. And for anybody, I know we have Peter watching, we have Colton watching. I will get you both into one one day, I promise. But we would then, I wasn't able to uh, get them in to yesterday's session. So I will, d I am good man. I'm a good man of my word. So we will definitely get them in to today's. Okay. Uh, he is using that. Okay, so I'm going to taunt him. All right, and then I need a heal. Mine is the same as yours now. Okay, sweet, Simon, sweet. Like these were these were not uh, my suggestion. This was from Kamisuki, but honestly, it's not that bad. It is honestly not too terrible. So much love to Kamisuki. He's not watching anymore because he went to go get himself some much needed rest. All right, so I'm gonna heal up really quick. And then uh, Screech him again, because my Pokemon is just about dead. So I'm going to heal up. I need to give him a... I need a... I'll probably go buy another... Sh maybe Leftovers or a Shell Bell for him. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if Leftovers is actually in this game or not. Alright, so yeah. We're going to keep Screeching him. Okay. So let's Screech. Because honestly, this is a pretty damn good debuff Pokemon so far. It fell. Why did it fail? Hold on. Is it because he has his uh, shield up? Can I not debuff while he has his shield up? Okay. I know he got rid of his negative effects to himself, so he might have... Uh, he might have made it so, like, shield can't do it. I'm not really sure yet. I'm still trying to figure this out. Leftovers in the game, but not that good. Yeah, but if he's going to be a debuffer, and if he doesn't hit, then that means that, um, that my, uh, uh, Shell Bell won't be as good. So I'm going to home claws. I'm going to do one or two home claws, and then I'll start attacking as well. Can only use twice, I think. Okay, okay. See, like I said, was not sure how this works. All right, so we increased our accuracy. So let's go ahead and attack. Because honestly, he is not that bad. I kind of have been digging him. 
And his shield is broke. Let's see if the game recognizes it. All right. Well, we. It, this is down to the wire. I'm gonna do my last cheer because I see Peter's a little bit down. I'm almost down. Oh, and Colton is dead. So we might honestly not might not get him this time. And also, uh, another question, Danielle, are you going to be uh, streaming today on your page? Because if so, you know I'll be there to play and to support, or either or, or both, you know how it is. Okay, so there we go, he... Alright, so he should be dead. This one is super... Okay, yeah, he fainted. There we go. GG's, guys. Whew. Alright. I'm not going to catch him. He's not shiny, and I don't need him. So, let's see. Ah, oh, no Herba Mystica. But that's okay. We got plenty during the game crash. We got plenty. So, yeah, we're about to do... We're about to get Danielle Byron and Simon in to do a shiny, shiny sandwich. Peter says he was G. Hey, we beat him. We beat him, Peter. It is all good. All right. So let me go to Zip Zap Town, because this is honestly the only place I really know in the game. Uh, Daniel says, yeah, I'm thinking of doing Han Live. Ooh, very nice. You know for a fact I will be there, Daniel. Yeah, no, I will be there to support. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to throw down a quick save. Um... Okay, and we will all decide together, too, what Pokemon it is we are doing. This is the hardest part. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're almost done for my session today, and plus, I want to be there to be able to support my best friend for her page. And like I said, I always try my best, whether it's watching and just typing and keeping my mob duties up, or just playing a game with her. And having fun. Okay, so let me send this to Danielle. Because I have hers up first. Then we'll send it to Byron. And Simon as well. Okay, so it's sent to Danielle. Sending it to... Byron, I'm just going to send it to you in Messenger. Here on Facebook. Well, that wasn't supposed to be... Lowercase. Yeah. I'll go ahead and copy it so I don't have to type it again. Okay, so it is sent to Danielle. It is sending to Byron. Hopefully it does. There we go. Then scroll up and send it to Simon. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so codes are sent out. Uh, if you, if Byron and Simon, if for some reason you did not get the code, let me know, and I will go from there and fix it. Alright, but yeah, we're going to do a shiny sandwich together. I'm going to use my Urban Mystica and the base ingredients. Uh, we got Edward with a follow. Much love to you, Edward. Uh, I'm pretty sure that might be an old notification. I, I'm pretty sure it is, because I'm pretty sure Edward followed a long time ago. We got Danielle in. Very nice. And Danielle, Byron, and Simon, what do you guys want to shiny hunt? What type of Pokemon? It does not matter to me what we shiny hunt. Because we are... So, I only have enough time, really, to do one. And then I'm going to get set up for uh, to watch Danielle's stream. So, it'll literally be just one sandwich today. We got Simon in. All right, sweet. Now we are just waiting for Byron. All right. Simon says, I'm in. Yes. I know. All right, sweet, bro. We are just waiting for Byron. Daniel says, I'm good for anything. Okay, cool. Uh, the only thing. All right. Sweet. We got everybody in. Very nice. Let's do this. And we're going to show Simon what ingredients he needs. <laughs> Pyre just says shiny ones. Okay. Um, 
I don't know then. Because we all have to pick. We all have to pick. We have to agree to one. Um. So let me think. Let me think. Uh, since this would be Simon's first one. Here, here's what we do. We will do. How does dragon sound? All right. So hang on. Let me get a picnic up over here. All right. So Simon, this is how it works. You come over here, and you join my picnic, and we get a sandwich ready together. So that way we could uh, make it. So everybody has to be in the same picnic. So how does Dragon sound? Hey, Peter with the 100 stars. Much love, bro. Uh, Peter says, GG's will take off now. Hopefully I can join your world next time. Yeah, I will get some more people in next time for it, without a doubt, bro. But much, much love to you. Okay, we're going to do Dragon. Okay, Daniel says that sounds good. Okay, so Daniel knows the base ingredient. Okay, so for Simon, just pick, uh, oh, oh God, what is the base, I don't remember what the base ingredient for it is. For dra I think it's avocado. So if you have avocado, pick that, uh, Simon, and when it brings you over to the next thing, just pick something that is not Herb Mystica. It will not mess up the sandwich, I promise you. Okay, so we have two. Okay, so we have two members in the sandwich, or the, uh, the picnic right now. So you come over, and you click the picnic, and we can make, and I will go a little bit slow with it, so that way, um, Simon knows, like, what the base ingredients are for the sandwich. Avocado. Okay, yeah, so it's avocado. We have three members in the picnic. Okay, so we have two out of three. We need four out of four. Did you save? Yes, I did save. I saved just in case. If I, if I don't get a shiny, that's fine. Because we'll use the Herba Mystica later on, because I'll be the only one that's offense. Like, I'll just close the game if I don't get a shiny. If I do get a shiny, that's when I save. Alright, so Simon. Uh, hopefully Simon could click. So Simon, you click on the pick. I'm not there. Oh, he's not there yet. Okay, Simon. Uh, hold up. We're, we're just waiting for Simon. You just got to click on the picnic, man. And you'll join our picnic. I might. Okay, there we go. So now click on the picnic again, Simon. And you'll see a thing for a sandwich. So you click that. And then that's how we make the sandwich together. So you will get the same effects that we all get for it. And again, guys, this is Simon's first time making the sandwich, so. Okay, there we go. So now we have all four members in. So we're going to get to, let's get to cooking. All right. So, Simon, I'm going to make it so I click creative mode. That lets me pick any ingredients for the sandwich. Okay. So the base ingredients that you, all, you will always need these for the sandwich. What do I take? Just pick, if you have avocado, Byron, just pick avocado. If you don't have it, uh, and you if you don't have that ingredient, don't worry. Just make sure it does not land on the sandwich. So, the base ingredients are always as followed. One tomato, one onion, one green pepper, and one hamburger. Now, if I was by myself doing a dragon, I would pick two avocado right here, but since... Somebody else is going to pick that. I don't have to pick that. So that's how you get your ingredients. So those are the base ones, and then whatever you are looking for shiny, you have to look up what the other ingredient would be for that effect. Now, I'm going to press next, and as you can see, this brings up a bunch of stuff. Like, if you have butter, just use that. That's honestly the cheapest thing I've seen that does not mess with the sandwich. And here... Is where our Urban Mystica comes in. So I, you, you don't have to pick yours. I'm picking mine. So we all get the same ingredients. So I would pick two Urban Mystica. Again, you can mix and match them. It does not matter. And then I would press next. And then, of course, you got to have your flagpole. I've got avocado. Okay, cool, cool. So yes, just pick avocado if possible. If you don't have it, like, just pick one item that we could literally just make sure, just throw off the sandwich because it does not matter what it is. 
And I'll do more of these sandwiches too for streams because, again, there's some people that don't know how to make that. What do I add? Uh, Simon, just pick, if you have it, avocado, push next, and then pick butter if you have it. Just avocado and butter. That's all we need, man. That is all we need. I have everything else. And like I said, I will definitely do more of these. To, so that way, like, people that don't know how to do them, like, will have an easier time remembering how to do it. I, I know I did it. I did a demonstration for it one time on uh, this game. Uh, but I kind of I kind of went messy with it. Done. Okay, cool. So, there we go. So, he, oh god, that is a long sandwich. All right. So now here's where it comes into play. There's some butter. Nice. Probably some more butter. Paula Dean would be proud of us. More butter. And some more butter. Paula Dean just sweating nervously. Okay, so now we just take those items and put them on the sandwich. And again, if it's an item that doesn't need to be on the sandwich, like I was picking for the longest time, um, Pickles, because I didn't have anything that could be used for the sandwich. Byron was literally doing the sandwiches for us, using his Herba Mystica, all the ingredients, and things like that. So we got to make sure we get them on there. And after that, we will put the pick in and go from there. What do sandwiches do? If you uh, do this method, Roger, you get a higher chance of finding a shiny Pokemon. And it's even higher if you have the shiny charm. You don't have to have the bread on top. I always miss the bread and put the pick in. So we pick Dragon Roger. So that way, this sandwich right here, since when is there onion? There's always been onion. You always, It's a, a onion, green pepper, hamburger, and tomato as the base, and then whatever is left for, uh, the, sh uh, for the shiny sandwich. So, so we pick Dragon. So if done correctly the sandwich will give us dragon bonus power. So see, we got something called sparkling power dragon. Sparkling power means like you have a higher chance of getting it shiny. And encounter rate will be dragon, so we have a higher chance, uh, we'll have the highest chance possible of finding dragon type Pokemon. And if you have the shiny charm, the sandwiches also affect uh, what uh your chance of getting them so for example i'm gonna go to area zero because i'm gonna see if i can get zuelia shiny or roaring moon <laughs> byron says oh oh dude you're good you're good man like i forget sometimes too without a doubt so like our encounter like there will be other pokemon that spawn in obviously but our highest chance is for dragon type pokemon to spawn into the world and like I said, I will do this again uh, on stream, maybe solo, but I will definitely get some other people in, like Colton and Peter. I know for a fact they want to do shiny sandwiches as well. But I did promise both Byron for his birthday yesterday that he could do a sandwich with us, and Simon asked first, and we weren't able to do it yesterday. So we're definitely doing it today. Okay, see, see for example, like there's Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig has nothing to do with Dragon-type Pokemon at all. Same with Corviknight there. But once we go down into the Area Zero Cave, we're going to see a ton of dragons up here. And with the Shiny Charm effects, I don't know what the rate is for it, but the Shiny Charm with the Sandwich definitely increases your chance. So see, there's our first dragon. But of course, like I said, we'll get Pokemon that are not Dragon-type. But the Sparkling Power is literally what it is. Uh, Byron says, hopefully you all don't take all my Shinies down there again. See, that's a glitch, too. Like, when we're in Area Zero, we're not supposed to be able to see each other or steal each other's shinies. But since the last update, it literally makes it so we can see each other and each other's shinies. And when I, when I was doing this yesterday, Byron, like I said, I ended up with four shiny Pokemon doing the shiny, shiny, shiny sandwich method. Sorry. Getting a little too excited. But yeah, shiny sandwiches with shiny charm are really really good to use and that's why we get the Herba Mystica for everybody that for everybody wondering that's why I'm always always wanting to do these to get Herba Mystica to get a shiny shiny chance and one of the best things to do 
I always recommend is if you are using your Urban Mystica solo, make sure you have your autosave up because of how stupid, expensive, and ridiculous it is to get Urban Mystica. Uh, so if you don't get it, you don't waste it. So like, say, for example, if I don't get a shiny within 30 minutes, uh, then I just close the game. But if, say, uh, because of the fact I used my Urban Mystica and didn't get anything shiny, but if, say, for example, Byron, Danielle, or Simon got something shiny, they literally will not lose their Urban Mystica. It's only the person that put it in to do it. So it's very easy sandwich method to do. And to, because of today's uh, session, I know for a fact we gave a lot of people some Urban Mystica, which is great. That's why we have been doing that. So that way everybody can go out and shiny hunt and just have fun doing it. And you can, uh, so for uh, another thing was like, we put an avocado, right? The avocado is what affected the sandwich for what type of Pokemon we were looking for, which was dragon. So say, for example, if we wanted fire, we would have to look up what is the two uh, other ingredient thing we need for fire types in order to get them. Uh, so it's different ingredients except for, like I said, the tomato, the green pepper, the hamburger, and the onion. That one will always stay the same. Same with the two Urban Mystica. The only thing that changes is depending on what type you are going for. So we, uh, since we did Dragon, we have a chance down here of getting Zuelius, Roaring Moon, and the Gibble Lion, which, honestly, I will take anything shiny. But you can, again, you can find anything shiny. You guys know how it is. And like I said, hopefully somebody here today gets themselves a shiny Pokemon. It's never a guarantee. But this is one of the best ways to shiny hunt in the game besides the Masuda method. And one day, uh, we'll get a lot of people in to do shiny hunts for shiny sandwiches, in which I'll use my Urban Mystica and go from there. And you always have to make sure that you and whoever you play with, if you do a world together, agree to one Pokemon, because, like, if you try adding, like, say, if you want Dragon, but somebody else wants Fire, and if, I, I don't know what Fire is, but we'll say if they add Strawberries to it, that's going to completely change the sandwich. Like, I don't know how badly, but I know for a fact, like, it's not going to work right. So, hopefully, one of you three get a shiny Pokemon. It'd be nice if I got one too, but my shiny look was last night. Alright. So, what I'm doing too for anybody watching is I'm resetting the spawns for all the Pokemon by running back and forth. So, like, every time I do this new Pokemon spawning because I'm getting far away from them, which increases our shiny odds. Like, for example, that uh, Gibble just spawned right in front of me, but he's not shiny, so we do not need him. If you see one disappear really fast while you're in a world with somebody, it's because that is not part of your world's Pokemon, that's part of your friend's. Now, if you do a world together, too, and say you're like uh, like on the Snow Mountain, you and your friend can, in fact, steal each other's shiny Pokemon. Whoever sees it first gets it. In Area Zero, it's supposed to be you can't see each other and you can't see each other's Pokemon. However, since the last update, that kind of messed it up a little bit to where, like, not only are we seeing each other, but we're seeing each other's, like, overworld Pokemon for shinies. Like how Byron said, hopefully y'all don't take my shinies down here again. There was a shiny Fluttermane that Danielle and Byron both saw, but they couldn't run into it because it was my Pokemon. 
and which is unfortunate and it happened again later on so hopefully that gets fixed soon i really really hope uh and again you can do this me the sandwich method by yourself you don't have to have other people in your world to do it but it just makes it a tad bit easier And like I said, I don't personally remember what the odds are for finding a shiny Pokemon with the shiny charm in the sandwich. That's something I will have to look up. Because I know with the Masuda method, it's 1 in 512 with the shiny charm. So in fact, hang on, I'm going to look it up. Because if I don't find a shiny, I don't find a shiny. That's fine. So let me look it up. Hang on. If my phone will stop being slow. There we go. Okay, shiny charm in sandwich. Uh, what are the odds? Okay, it's not actually giving me enough weight. No, that's, uh... I'm trying to figure this out. I apologize. Okay, um... Again, it is not giving me an exact number, so I'll have to look that up later to see what the exact number is. It's giving me just the base one with the shiny charm, but it's not telling me with the sandwich how much it is. So we'll definitely have to look that look that up later so I can give you guys out there the correct information. But I know it's a good, good chance. And I would really like to get shiny uh, Roaring Moon, but I will also definitely take a shiny Zuelius. Mm, and I am not seeing anything so far. If you want to check your time, too, for it, don't forget to press right on the D-pad. We still have 20 minutes for the shiny Pokemon. In which case, afterwards... I will end today's session because at that point we'll be about around four hours for today's stream because we're almost at two and a half hours. Or I'm sorry, three and a half hours, not two and a half hours. That'd be way too early to end today's session. And I know a lot of people use this, uh, this method, the picnic method, and the pseudo method for shiny Pokemon, which are all great, honestly. They are all great methods to use if you don't kill it again. Don't remind me, Daniel. <laughs> yes, the last time I found a shiny Zuelius, I made an oopsie poopsie and accidentally killed it. And Byron laughed at me. <laughs> Danielle wanted to, but she didn't. But Karma came back to her because she mentioned it and she killed her shiny Sableye that she found. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. We're also looking at these other Pokemon, too, because, again, even though the sandwich does not affect them, I still have the shiny charm, so we have a chance for those Pokemon to be shiny. Like, Palmy, like, I literally got Palmy again, Byron laughing. Yeah, you would be laughing at that. No! Oh, I'm surprised nobody clipped that. I don't remember what day that was, either, so... I legitimately have no idea. Okay, show me your bellies. Hey, turn around. You, asshole. Turn around. Okay, no, no yellow belly. Uh, and again, I will do these sandwiches again. We'll probably do another one tomorrow. Everybody, and we'll let different people in each time, obviously. I, I'll try to make it as fair as possible, so that way we can get ourselves some shiny Pokemon going. All right, so nothing shiny right there, right now. 
I would have. I wanted to clip that, but I would have uh, felt that, uh, dude. You should have clipped it. It's content. Like, yeah, it sucks for me that that happened, but at the same time, it was pretty damn funny for you guys. Not for me. It was heartbreak. <laughs> but it's all good. Like I said, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake, and obviously that was a big oopsie poopsie on my end. Uh, but it is all good. Uh, I got lucky with Espeon, though. I did get shiny. A funny thing is, every time Daniel and I do one of these, uh, things together, whether it's on stream or off stream, or her stream, obviously, every time she wants to go hunt for a certain Pokemon, I'm the one who finds it. I don't know why the game, uh, does that, but... Like, we were literally looking for um, Espeon Shiny, for example. She really, really wanted him Shiny, so I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll do him. I found my green boy, and as you guys know, I gave it to her on Shiny Sunday because she likes she likes the Evolutions. They're one of her favorites, and I, and I felt kind of bad. Like, after that, we were getting no spawns in for uh, Espeon, even though the sandwich was still going. So how much time do we have left? We have 16 minutes. 16 minutes, everybody. And like I said, uh, I did catch an ex I did catch a, a couple of extra um, Fluttermanes shiny, which that that one I'm surprised I've gotten that much of. Uh, which I will definitely put in for Shiny Sunday as well as a Pommy. I ended up catching two Fluttermane and two Pommy yesterday, which was awesome. Oh, you're not shiny. Go away. We, uh, God, what was the first one we, we did an electric and we also did a go, we did three or four sandwiches yesterday. I really don't remember how many, but. Yeah, those Fluttermanes were probably my luckiest uh, catch. And I was just like, why am I never streaming or recording uh, while I'm trying to get a, uh, while I catch something cool? Uh, but it happens. Like, that's on me. Like, if I get something cool, like, of course, I tell you guys immediately about it. Uh, it's kind of like if I do something cool in a game, I'm just like, why am I not recording right now? Why am I this bad when it comes to making content? <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got some more blue boys. No green boy right now. I hope all three of you are having much better luck than me. I haven't seen anything pop up yet. <laughs> and speaking of popping up, uh, so like, when you're in a world together, you can see when somebody has caught a Pokemon, or when they're in the battle with one or uh, anything like that. And so anytime I'm doing this with Danielle, I like to mess with her. I I was like, I'm going to mess with her and I'm going to go catch uh, a Raichu. Which, Danielle, yeah, you were right. I did catch a Raichu, but it wasn't shiny. I caught a Raichu and she's like, why did you catch a Raichu? I'm like, huh? What do you mean? I didn't catch a Raichu. Like, absolutely just messing with her. I did it with Espeon, too. Like, right as, uh, right, right before I caught the shiny Espeon. And I was like, I'm not screwing with you now. And we have officially been live for three and a half hours, everybody. Alright, so. Ah, uh, this is what shiny hunting is all about. Running around and getting absolutely nothing for a little while. Uh, I believe Daniel has caught this shiny Pokemon five times. Uh, my voice just cracked again. Five times, if I'm not mistaken, and she got so tired of him because she wanted Roaring Moon Shiny. But now that she has the Shiny Charm and Scarlet, she definitely has a better chance of catching him. Show me your bellies. Nope. Something tells me we're going to get a Gibble Shiny before we get another Shiny Zabellius. So I, I don't know why, I just have a feeling that's going to happen. Ah, uh, goodness. Alright, so no to that Roaring Moon. No to Mr. Show Me Your Belly. 
And we have 13 minutes. 13 and a half minutes. Or I do. Like, for some, it's a little bit weird. Like, some people will literally uh, have different Pokemon for us. Uh, Byron says, I've seen Iron Jugulus, and it just disappeared. Hey, that happens. That does, in fact. Oh, yeah, you also reminded me, Byron. When you're in a world together, too, you can't. Oh, my God, it's a candle. Uh, when you're in someone else's world, you do, in fact. Oh, God, we're in the infinite catch loop again. Uh, you can, in fact, find the other exclusive Pokemon. They are just considered rare spawns. I know I say that a lot, but just in case if anybody here is new and did not know that, like, it's a great way to be able to get some shiny Pokemon. Or not shiny Pokemon, but exclusive Pokemon. Sorry. I got shinies on the brain right now, chat. I've actually gotten kind of lucky with these uh, Paradox Pokemon shiny. Like, I caught, I've caught plenty of Fluttermane. I caught Screamtail, but I gave that one away. And, yeah, that, that's it for right now. I mean, not too bad, considering the fact they're literally, you can't breed them, and they're only in one spot of the entire world, so that's not too terribly bad. All right, so no to him, no to him. And a non shiny Espeon. Alright. Ah, you were not there, Chansey. You were not there. I'll take Chansey Shiny too, why not? I'll take anything beautiful and sparkly and shiny. Okay. Uh, none of those guys. And unfortunately, like I said, I really, really wish this game had Pokemon Legends Arceus style of uh, shiny, in which it makes a noise and a big sparkle, so that way it makes it a little bit easier to tell, because I'm always worried that I'm going to miss something shiny. Uh, let's see. No to those Gibble. No to him. Luckily, what we're shiny hunting for, it's uh, very, very easy to tell if they are shiny or not. Like, we have a very good chance of being able to tell if he's shiny or not. Because, like I said, uh, this guy right here will be a kind of dark green. And Roaring Moon is kind of a light green. It's the same color as Salamence Shiny. So they're both very, very easy to tell. Most of the Pokemon down here are actually green, come to think of it. Espeon's green. Chansey is. Pommy is not, though. Pommy is a very beautiful pink shiny. <clears throat> Which I know Byron absolutely loves. The green, or I'm sorry, the pink and the black shiny Pokemon. Which, since Byron, since your favorite color is purple, I'm surprised you haven't gone for many purple shinies. But to be fair, there's probably not too terribly many of them in this game. Uh, no to them. I, I thought I saw, I thought I saw something, but my mind just playing tricks on my old brain. No to the Roaring Moon. Ah, oh, goodness. I'm not feeling good about my chances here. I hope Byron, Simon, and Danielle are having way better luck than me, but I'm not sure. I don't, I haven't seen them catch anything yet, and they haven't said anything yet. So my guess is. They also have not gotten something beautiful, sparkly, and shiny yet today. Ah, uh, and this is torture. <laughs> uh, if only I did not mess up that one catch. If only, then I would, 
have my shiny green boy, and everything would be good in the world. Uh, like I said, I'll take anything shiny at this point, chat. Uh, no to the dragon. No to those dragons. I saw a Fluttermane. That's not a dragon type. But hey, if he wants to show up green, I mean, go ahead. Show green. Give us another one to catch so we can uh, donate it for Shiny Sunday. Mm, excuse me. Danielle says nothing yet. I didn't figure. I didn't figure. But hey, we still got our we still got a chance, Danielle. I believe in all of us. Especially you guys. Like I said, guys, shiny hunting takes quite a bit of time. It takes time and patience to get shiny Pokemon. I only have time. I don't have patience sometimes. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Mm. Show me your bellies. No, okay, those weren't part of my world, apparently. It was not meant to be for me to look at their bellies. How much time do we got left? Six minutes and 45 seconds. Oof. And like I said, if I don't get a shiny, every time, literally what I do, it, I got a bug right in front of me. I apologize. Uh, every time, I literally just close the game. That way, I save my Urban Mystica. That's another reason I don't keep autosave on. No, it's Duck. Or that's Gold Duck. That's not Psyduck. <laughs> Oops. Wrong Pokemon. No to him. Ah, goodness gracious. Mm -mm -mm. They're not getting anything today chat but that's okay that's part of the part of the excitement and fun is to see if and when we get a shiny boy uh like i said if i don't get one i hope at the very least that daniel byron or simon get themselves a beautiful shiny pokemon Let's see. No to the chancy. Of course you want to be shiny either again, SP. One day I'll get another one. And it shall be glorious. We're not getting too many Oh, excuse me. Oof. We're not getting too too many drag ah, oh, I did not mean to run into the puppers. We're not getting too many dragons right now, but that is okay. All right. Like sometimes, like like we do have it increased all the way to get more dragons than anything else, but for right now, we're not getting too too terribly lucky. Mitchell with like, what's up, Mitchell? How are you doing today, man? We are shiny hunting for a dragon, Mitchell. Driving home, be right back. Okay, no worries, man. Uh, we're actually going to be ending the stream here in a minute. But Danielle's going to have her stream on uh, for... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, he wasn't shiny. I, I had to make sure. Danielle will have hers up in a little bit. I believe she's going to be playing... Um, high on life and if not then we'll maybe shiny hunt again it all depends on what she wants to do but either way she knows i'll be there to support her all the way ah 
no to him. Hmm. How much time do we got left? Three and a half minutes. I have three and a half minutes. The thing is, like I was saying, though, is like the counter's a little bit weird because sometimes, like, I literally ran out of time one time and Byron uh, was in the world with us and he's like, wait, I still have a minute left. And I was like, eh. So I don't know why sometimes it does that, but it is all good. <laughs> Daniel, uh, Mitchell says, Daniel, get me a shiny iron bundle. Uh, which one is iron bundle again? That's the uh, deli bird, right? That's the future deli bird, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. They're all named iron, so like I legitimately forget all their names. Like I have no idea what each and every one of them are named. <laughs> I just remember that, like, I feel like they gave up with the names on them. Like, just iron this, iron that. Daniel says, I got one you can have. Danielle, make him work for it. Make him do a little dance for us. Make him send a video of himself dancing to us. Because I would enjoy that. Vaporeon. Vaporeon would be a nice shiny to have, too. I know Danielle has him. All right. We're about done with this run. And then, like I said, guys, I'm going to end the stream after we are done with our run. And we are not having any sort of luck, unfortunately. Mitchell says, Blake, you can have... Uh, these nuts in your face. Uh, Daniel says, leaving the Union Circle, about to go home. Okay, no worry. Yeah, it is time. It is about that time anyway. So no worries, Danielle. Sorry you didn't get a shiny. But I will see you in a minute. In fact, I will text you in a minute too. Okay, so how much? We literally have a minute 22. So yeah, it's this one is about over, guys. We'll make our last run, and then I will wait for Byron and Simon's clock to run out. And then we'll end the world and end the stream for the day. Blake, you can have iron nuts in your face. Sure, Mitchell. Just just do me a little dance, Mitchell. It'll make me so happy. Ah, uh, yes. And we did not get a shiny Pokemon for this run, but that is okay. Okay, uh, let me text Danielle really quick. Chat. All right, so yes, unfortunately, no shiny for us, but that is okay. Yeah, mine's already over, pretty much. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We did not get ourselves a shiny, shiny sandwich. Same shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, Daniel's going to be doing High on Life. I'm actually really excited to see that. Re oh, Byron is doing something in the game. I don't know if Byron has found himself a shiny or not. I have, an, I have a little bug that will not go away. So yeah, as you can see, now it's going to be back to what can normally spawn down here as opposed to being all dragon types. Like, yeah, he, the dragon is down here normally, but... Other than that, he is not. So I'm going to go to Zip Zap Town as soon as I can find it. There we go. All right. So I'm waiting a couple of seconds to give Simon and uh, Byron some time. And then we're going to end the world. I'm going to close the game. And then I'm going to end the stream for today, guys.
Because we have, yeah, we're about to hit the four hour mark in just a little bit. But again, I will let anybody do these with me again. Uh, Byron and Simon, are you guys good for me to end the world? That sounds wrong out of context. Byron says, no, like, I didn't have any either, bro, but it is all good. Again, Byron and Simon, are you guys good for me to end the world? Ooh, my goodness. Like I said, sorry we did not get a shiny Pokemon, but we will definitely do that again. And I'll do it uh, solo on stream as well. To be able to, so that way uh, other people will, that don't know how to do the sandwich method will have it kind of good in their memory of how we do it here. And I'll go a little bit slow with it. Uh, good. Uh, I'm going to check, though. Uh, you have the sandwich for the iron Pokemon Violet. Which iron Pokemon? Because we will definitely do them again. I don't, I don't know which Pokemon, though, you were talking about, Simon. Uh, I want to make sure we did not miss any sort of reactions. I think I did. I think I definitely did. I did. What? Who did I miss? Uh, I cannot read that, but thank you for the heart. It's in a different language, guys. That's why I can't read it. Uh, Daniel says, I knew you were evil. I mean, you knew that from my devil horns, Daniel. But all right. Um... All right, so again, uh, I'm about to end the world, guys. So it'll put you back into your world. I see Simon battling something really quick. All the special ones like Iron Valiant. Okay, oh, okay, no, I got you. Yeah, you can, we can definitely do those too later on. Uh, but for right now, I have to end the stream. <laughs> I want to get some food and also get set up for, to watch Danielle's stream, guys. Again, much love to everybody that uh, has gone over to her page. I see you guys over there. I see you lurking, you ch you typing, and everything like that. But guys, uh, okay, so I am going to close the game. That'll end the world. So we also save our Urban Mystica. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fish people of all ages, I am going to end today's session it has been a wonderful session. We got some raids in. Everybody got some Herba Mystica. It was a lot of fun. But we will be live tomorrow. We'll do we'll do some more raids. We'll do some more shiny sandwiches. You know, just hang out and chill. But until then, guys, always remember, stay awesome and stay positive. Bye, everybody.